Alright, uh, whatever. Just thank you. I'm sorry. You're a tall dude. Thank you. Have a good podcast. Yeah, if you want to come on, let me know. We will. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All thank right. you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Everything's rolling. All right. So everything's rolling. Thank this, this you. This vodka cra- this wa- this thank cra- you. What the hell is going on out here right now? Thank you. It's fine. Don't over it. Thank you. I appreciate it. What is happening out you here You doubled right up now? in the vodka cra- I don't know, right now? People run over the window. Like, what's going on? Are you going to hold the I told you tonight was going to be electric. As soon I, you as might you have been right. In, and, I, and I said no. Electric, and I was like, eh. And you're like, I feel the electric. I, I think it's going to be electric He said he tonight. felt it in his plums when he walked in. There's a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here, but it's like a manageable amount of people. Yeah, it's a which good. Which is good. It's a perfect. It's a sweet, sweet spot. Literally a sweet spot. Yeah. Right. Where have you been, babe? My house. I know. How's the past couple weeks been? How were your holidays? Wonderful. I worked. Did you? Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Anything crazy at the office or no? Like, or the practice? I mean, sorry. No. No. Ha- a lot of dying animals. How's that's. Perfect. That's what we want to hear. I mean, that's phenomenal. You know what I mean? Um, what? What the hell was I just going to say? Did you get anything cool for Christmas at all? Or like... No? no. Nothing really? How do you know the guy you came with tonight? Your, your buddy there? It's my co-worker. Oh, do you guys both work at the thing? My gay bestie. Everybody needs one. He just one. took a shit in the bathroom before I went no, in there. No, he didn't. Did he really? He just loves the smell of Febreze, so he like... Oh, uh, okay. And that might be a thing. That the, might be it. the door. He was standing there and he's like... Woo! That's awesome. That kid's electric. He seems pretty funny, that kid, to be honest hilarious. with you. hilarious. I don't know where he went, though. How's the men in your life? Men? Yeah. Lame. Well, really? well, speaking of men, you look like you got a wedding ring on right yeah, now. Yeah, what is that? Somebody proposed to you and it wasn't me? What I the fuck? I got it at CVS. And it's on the ring finger, too. It yeah, what are you doing with that? Uh-huh. I'm just faking it until you I You just snagged it. one and just put it on? Okay. I like that. But you're, now, you're doing the opposite, though, because now you're deterring guys because they think you're married. That's fine. Yeah, men are not, yeah. suitors are not going to come up and court you and say, hey, yeah. I'm offering a sheet for your hand. I just want to marry Jonathan. Okay. Same, same, to be honest with He's you. He's the love of my life, you know? Is he really? He's yeah. He's so beautiful. Isn't he nice? He's a great guy. He's got a great, I got to say, he's probably one of those guys that looks better bald. I gotta you get, know, some people I like look. I can't picture him with hair. I can't, it's hard to picture him with hair. It was like very like he used to have it like combed back, kind of like remember how the Rock used to have his hair? Yeah, that's what Jocko's hair used to look like. Nah, he's way better off. He looks better bald. Way he looks like off. Vin Diesel bald. Yeah. You know, how, like Vin Diesel's one of those people where it's like this Meant guy. To be bald. I feel like yeah. this guy was born bald. Yeah. 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 Him. I gotta say, the Rock looks better without hair than he does with. Some people do. Yes. Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? I agree. Um, what's on your mind? Anything in particular? Like. No. No. I don't think so. Did you miss the podcast? I missed you guys. I know. Did you, no, did you guys miss me? Sure, of, course. of course. Duh. Thank you. I know, right? What um, what was I gonna say? Have uh, you know what I was gonna ask you about? Did I ever ask you if you listen to Caller Daddy? Did you? Have, were you like a Caller Daddy girl? Do you listen to any other podcasts? She annoys me. Does she? I can see why. Like her voice. No it's shit. Like, come here. Oh, you have to come now. Who's this? This is my best friend Maddie. Oh, it is. What are we doing? Hi. Podcast. Welcome. Jen loves the podcast, man. She she does. She yeah, does. she's she's been a, a great supporter of us. My besties. What are we doing? So we're, we're just talking. We're just talking. What? Tell us about yourself. What's your like oh, first wait. name? You know the Cohasset murder you were talking about? Yes. Yeah. She works for like, I a can't. company that, that covers it. What do you work for? Like the trauma company that like cleans up the site. I you that Instagram thing. Relations firm. You work for a PR firm. I do. Who's PR? What PR firm is involved in like that? Um, uh, like John Gilfoyle Public Relations. Who's he? Who do you represent? John Gilfoyle Public Relations. No, I mean like okay. So who does he? Like who? the town of Cohasset. Oh, okay. There we go. That Cohasset makes sense. Cohasset Police Department. Cohasset Fire Department. I got you. Okay. Okay. Good. There we go. I was. It's I know it's not she that can't it's talk not that about it though. She can't it's not that cool. No, I know. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, that's interesting then. Yeah. So how did you? How would if you owned your own PR firm, how would you have advised them to go about it? Like, what would you have said or like had them say or? Yeah. So I I went to school for uh, communications and then I actually like my professor from my public relations class he was my well actually he was my political communications class and he owns his our own pr firm so i went to like his uh firm so i don't know I mean, okay 
Like, how would I handle it? I mean, exactly how my PR firm's handling it. I think they do good work. And, uh, like, we're just supporting our clients 100%. Right. What do you think happened to the lady? I, I think she's a spy. I think that there is some kind of... If this, if she's alive, this is some kind of planned Gone Girl type thing, but with the husband as well. Like the husband's in on it. I don't think I'm saying if she's. I'm saying she can't talk about she it. She can't talk about it. She's out. She's got to go. That's there's it. no way that lady's alive. I, I don't think so. Alive. No, no, I don't. I don't think so either. The spy for the government, and they faked her death. I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. If they the, faked her death. And she went back to wherever, you know, she what country she migrated, uh, Serbia, wherever, right? What? I think that, I don't know, maybe he's, like, involved with Why would she it. have to fake her death? I don't know, because if she's, like, into, involved in some kind of spy espionage shit, I don't know. You never know. I mean, her husband's about to go to federal prison. She could just disappear and he no one would He actually wasn't twice. going to jail. He pled out, uh, he gave a guilty plea, and he wasn't going to get jail time for that. Well, he's got some now. Now he does. Now, yeah. But it doesn't make any sense because if you look at all this shit, he's like, like, he's, it's almost like he's doing everything wrong on purpose. And like, he is a smart conniving guy. Like, he knows how to finagle. So like, this whole thing is like, well, I, I just don't get what the angle would be. I, I don't know. Maybe to help her escape. Maybe he's leaving just enough evidence to where they can't convict him. Because if they don't have a body, they're, they're not going to... He's playing a very risky game. I know. But I'm just saying that... My, that I'm playing devil's advocate here. I think that's I where... I think she's a spy. Maybe. Maybe she All is. Right. I maybe respect she is. it. I respect Have you watched the new Noah Centineo show on Netflix? What is it called? The Recruit. No. Watch it and then tell is that me based she's on the, Is that based on the movie? What? Like the, uh, the Colin Farrell? Did you ever see The Recruit with Colin Farrell? And like know. Al Pacino and shit? So like ah, 2003, it's from okay. 100 years ago. All right, yeah. So you didn't? You no, I don't think so. No, no it's so I wonder. I wonder if it's based off that movie, which is weird. Maybe. It's called the same thing too. I don't know. What else is on your mind? Green Nothing. is the color you picked tonight. What? Teal, turquoise is the color you picked Isn't tonight. It cute? Yeah, it is absolutely. Thank you. I think white's your color, but I do like really? this green. Yeah, definitely. White's your color. But I'm too pale for the mm. white right now. I can't wait till you're olive and uh, bronze in the summer. It's gonna be great. I'm do you tan? Do you tan really well? Yeah, no. I know it's true. I know. I know. Me and this kid, are, we tan pretty well as well. Obviously, really? yeah. Want to have a tanning contest? You, I think you lose. You can't just you can't contest. just leave when the question gets hard. I mean, I know. I'm just kidding. I know what? you can't answer. We're gonna have a tanning contest. Us three. Where are you from? Arlington. Arlington. Nice. So where did you go to school? She went to Minuteman. You went to Minuteman? Wow. Okay. okay. Went. Went. Okay. Okay. Past that's cool. Tense. That's cool. I know. Did you did you not want to go to Arlington High? No. That's interesting. Okay. Cool. Huge sports guy. Really nice. Okay. That's dope. I feel like Arlington's like a cool ass place. Honestly, how did you guys meet here? No. How'd you guys? Muty. Okay. That's dope. Okay. Do you have a man in your life? Do you have a guy in your life at all? No. No? Are you, like, happily single, or are you, like... Yeah. Okay, cool. Who was the last... How was the, uh, like, the last... You, are you on, like, dating apps and shit, or are you not even trying like that? Not really, no. I would consider that trying. I guess you're just putting yourself out there, right? I wouldn't... I, 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 I kind of agree with you, to be honest with you. I go on, like, once every two months, and I'm just, like... What, um, what was I going to say? Um, shit. How are you liking the PR world so far? Is it like everything you thought it was going to be? Like, really? No shit. And you want to own a PR firm yourself one day? No. No, not really? Not necessarily. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to hire you guys as my publicist at some point. Right. Hopefully I don't get arrested for anything crazy, which would be. Right. Yeah, so. well, that would be good. Yeah. That would be good to start. We're trying to avoid that Don't kind of thing. For yeah, 100%. That'd be a good start. Yeah. yeah. Trying to just, yeah. but now to know that you guys are there, it's like the natural kind of like fit of things. That's where I'm going. So, do you have anything else you wanted to throw out? I love Jockos. Thank you. So, I'm so I've glad been that you're sober for like a month. Have you really? Sober for a month? Yeah. Sober for a month? What made you want to do that? 
School. Okay. Finals. That'll do it. That'll do it. You wanted to be cognizant. Good for you. I'm happy for you. That's fantastic. Um, are you all right if we rotate somebody else in? I guess. You hate me. No. I'm too sober today. No? She's, they're standing on the mic. Thank you. So, all right. I'm glad you finally came back. Like, last week we were here. You weren't here. I We've been kind of off and on. We've been, we have been a little off We did a couple on, Saturdays. You guys are never here when I come here. Right, I'm sorry. We did two Saturdays and a Thursday. That's why. Right. We did that yeah. one. Yeah. The Saturdays were a little bit weird. Yeah, back to back. I mean, they were then good shows, were doing, but it was... Then you were doing Thursdays. Like, I know. I Next week Thursday. we're Thursday. Oh, no. We're not Thursday again until February. Thank God. Disgusting. So. Thank you guys for coming on. We appreciate you. Love you guys. Love you, honey. So... What's up? No, we have these people have been waiting. For these people was waiting. Off record. Off record. Are you? Good. 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 I'm not nice gonna, to see her again. I'm not gonna lie. Blanche kind of stunk. Huh? Blanche kind of stunk. What? The Blanche kind of stunk. No, I feel like she answered everything as if she was like annoyed that you were asking. I, yeah, I don't know. She was. She was interesting. She was interesting. That's um, one way to put it. Yeah, it was. It was interesting. Hey, listen. Not everybody gets to be a fucking spark plug. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Do you want to come on? Nothing. That's the whole point. It's like a show about nothing. It's like Seinfeld. Come on. If you're busy, I know. Yeah, Neither do fine. we. Don't worry. Neither do we. There you go. What? No, you don't have to put those on. You don't need the headphones if you can don't you want. They are cool if you can you can hear yourself, but all right. We'll put those aside. What are we going to say? Like, what if I don't like what I say? So, do, we'll, we'll edit it if you really want us to. What's your name? You can start by telling us that. My name's Kara. Kara? Yeah. Okay. And you're from Saugus, right? Yeah. So how do you like, how do you feel about Saugus in general? Are you like happily from Saugus? You loved it? You didn't like it? How do you it's feel? Fine. It's, fi it's fine. It's fine in general. All right. That's cool though. That's all right. You know my favorite place in Saugus is? We have to go one night. What? No. Jimmy Steerhouse. Oh, I ate that for dinner tonight. I fucking love that place. Is that a steakhouse? Yeah. yeah it's like it kind of is, good. but it's all like right. a small yeah. chain. There's only like three of them. Okay. Yeah, there's one in Arlington. Arlington has the other one. Yeah. And it's like, dude, they're just like an affordable, good restaurant that makes I kind of like that because it's like they're not big enough that it's like the chain has forced them to go downhill in quality. Right. But a, a couple of them means that it was good enough that there needed to be more than one. Right. So it's like a nice little, exactly. nice little sweet spot. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Yeah, I had like a burger that. from there for dinner. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, I had the teriyaki tips the other night. They were crack. I've been making my way around with wings and shit, um, like food-wise and stuff like that. So I'm trying to see, like, everything that Saugus, like, has to offer, kind of. So I feel like Saugus, Sa I mean, I love Saugus. I'm from Georgetown. I've been living in Saugus for three years. And I, I love it, personally. It's close to everything. They do have to do something with the Square One Mall, though. It's just it's just taking up space. It looks it, depressing. And they it looks bad. Like they gotta do something with it. Like do something square, with it. Square is that like the towny bar in Saugus that everyone goes to? No, it's a mall. Oh, the Square One it's Mall. A mall. The square okay, One Mall. Okay. Like there's so much land. I've never heard of that. But there's no. so much land You've that they. Never been to the Square One Mall. You're not missing so. anything. I go there for like like little shit, but it's just like. Is it one of those malls that just got decimated over the last, like, 10 years by Amazon yeah, and COVID? Yeah, I would say so. And now it it's just Dick's dead? Dick's Sporting Goods. That's about Dick's it. Dick's Sporting Goods keeps it alive. They have a great hibachi restaurant in there. Tokyo. Yeah, it's crack. Tokyo's a chain, isn't it? Yeah. Is it really? I yeah. think so. There's, There's a couple. Like, Peabody, I think. Is there yeah. really? I didn't yeah. know that. That's fucking sick. I mean, I didn't realize you could fuck up hibachi until I went to Tulip and Stoneham, and it sucked. You can fuck up hibachi. They serve everything, like... 
in se- like in sequence almost. It's weird as shit. Like you gotta eat your rice separately from like the vegetables, and then they serve like the meat. Tokyo just serves it all at once. Yeah, no, I'd be like, I want all of it now. Exactly, yeah. dude. I want to have I a know. plate full of fucking hibachi. I don't want to just have individual shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. It's like weird as fuck. Do you like the ginger salad at hibachi? I've, I've never, I've never, I don't know. I've never had it. It's a polarizing food item. Are you a hibachi person? No. All right, so but I'm asking more. I that out of Asia closed. What happened? Out of Asia. Out of Asia was good. It was expensive, but it was good, and no, I love that. It was the best Chinese food in Saugus. I also loved. It definitely was. I also. But they closed. Lo- I loved that location, even though it was like the hardest place to pull in and out of. Yeah, but you have to go instead of turning around near the new Canes. You got to go to the next exit and turn around. I know. Yeah. That's the only way you got there. It really is in a really tough fucking. I'm surprised they closed. Yeah. You don't see Chinese restaurants close that often. No, I, I, I guess like, not. They, I feel it like was you don't. Kind of dirty in there. Was it really? Have you ever liked, been inside? Yeah, I liked the fish tank they had, they had in there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I feel like that's just a sign of a dirty Chinese restaurant. <laughs> but it's, it sucks because it was like it was like a relic of time. Like it was like it been there forever, and it just it's like a cool little spot. I don't know. It's like a vibe. I liked out of Asia. A place yeah. could definitely go in there and open up like they should. But like, you should, didn't you say it was in a shitty spot though? Kind of, but like yeah. it would if p- places like but if it's it would. Good enough, people Get to it, it. Exactly. Okay. It's good enough. All people right. will get fair to enough. it. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair Are you a Kings? the street from the orange dinosaur. Are you a Kings donuts orange person? Dinosaur. No. Me neither. Unpopular opinion. Uh, no, not an unpopular I, I opinion. Really like I I think they're like too big and sweet. Yeah. I I just like I can't eat it. I can't either. I, I would I, rather Dunkin' Donuts. And you know what's funny? I literally grew up next to the people that own it in Georgetown. They lived in Georgetown. Oh, the, really? Yeah, the Delioses. Yeah. I grew up next to them. It's wild. Yeah. Did you go to college? Yeah, I went to Regis. Regis. We just had another girl, a couple girls here from Regis last, like, two weeks ago. Do you know, like... I get Regis confused with, uh... Brandeis. Not Brandeis. Bentley. No, I went to Bentley. Not Bentley. Salve Regina. I don't... Regina. I don't know. I don't know. Salve Regina is in Rhode Island. Island. How do you confuse Salve and Regis? R-E-G, R-E-G, Regina, Regina. All right, I kind of, okay, yeah, so I, I can kind of see that. Yeah. I can kind of see that. I'm Maybe not going to Maybe nobody else gets to confuse. Like, I do. It's like 15 minutes from here. Okay. How did you like right. Regis? It was good. Really? Yeah. Nice, okay. I'm actually there now. Oh, you so, still go there? Nice, yeah, okay. for an accelerated nursing. Ex- got you, okay. So accelerated nursing? That's what it is. It's a nursing school. But right? Yeah, they have others, but... But, like, it's known for nursing. Okay. So do you know Maddie right, Michaud? That's what it is. No. Oh, she went there. She comes on this pod sometimes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, she went to reach. She's, like, a little bit older than you. Um, I'm trying to think. Where were you, like, weighing schools? Where was it between? Was it just... Were you just, like, Regis is the spot for me, and that was it? Mm, Did you visit anywhere of, else? Kind of. I looked at other schools in Boston, but... Emmanuel Simmons? I looked at Simmons, but I didn't look at Emmanuel. My brother goes to Emmanuel now. He loves Does he it. really? It's right next to my hospital, Beth Israel, buddy. There you go. That's like the best thing about going to Emmanuel, I feel like. You You're right next, to the, right next huh? to the hospital? You work at Beth no, no, my, that's like my hospital. Like, I, I yeah. go there. You like, go my, there? yeah, that's your right. Place? It's my hometown. When hospital. he has emergencies, that's where he, he goes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they've been handling this whole knee thing. Yeah. So I'm having meniscus surgery next Friday. Oh, well, good luck. Yeah, it's very annoying, but it's whatever it is, what it is. So well, that's a good hospital to it, be at. I always say, like, my dad's like, why don't you just go to a private practice up here somewhere? I'm like, no, I'd rather be at, like, the best. It's like, yeah. dude, Beth Israel would be, like, the best hospital in any other state. Yeah. It's just because it's in Massachusetts that it's the third best. No, it is a good uh, but, what is, What's the number one? Mass General. Oh. Mass, Mass, like Mass General like the, than, like, Brigham and Women, I think. Maybe. Or Boston Medical Center. Yeah, I forget what it. BMC has, like, the best trauma unit in the yeah. fucking state. In a, like. Yeah, I think Brigham and Women's the best for cancer. Like BMC's trauma and Mass General might just be like all around. Like Mass General's like the best hospital in the country. Yeah, like it's that good. Dude, yeah. like three out of the top like five best hospitals in the country are in Boston. So no excuses to die if you're in Boston. Literally, you're, you yeah. shouldn't be shouldn't no be dying. Excuses. No excuses. You should excuses. not be dying. There's no be excuse. Saved. There really yeah. isn't. I'm with over there are nurses. They're all. Oh, you guys are all nurses. They're all nurses. Not me. Really? Not, me yet. not you yet. Now you, what type of nursing are you gonna focus on? I think pediatrics. Oh, okay. We'll see. Do you have like are you like a mommy type of person? Like, do you like like do like, like caring? Like, yeah. Like, are you like like kids and stuff like that? Like, yeah, like yeah. Okay, that's cool then. That's so yeah. I feel like then that's right up your alley, obviously, right? Right. So my my best friend's wife is like a uh, 
she's an oncology nurse at like Philadelphia General Hospital. I'm like, so but she's sad. in like pediatric oncology. I'm like, dude, couldn't do it. I don't. I couldn't do that. Couldn't no. do it. Could not be around these poor little kids battling no. cancer. I just could not fucking do it. Definitely couldn't. Especially if you know like one of them's not doing well and they only got. I'd be like, I can't. I just can't. Fucking, I yeah. can't be around this person. I just can't do it. Cannot. It's tough, dude. Yeah. Be very um, tough. What do you? What do you like? Your side hobbies? Like, what are you doing? Like, when you're not consumed in like nursing stuff? Uh, I like to go to the beach. Okay. Down the Cape. Do you tan well? No. <laughs> I had to ask. Sorry. Yeah, right. I, I kind of knew the answer. I had to ask I'm anyways. Very Irish. It's yeah, just a formality. Right. It's yeah. formality, right? Exactly. Um, I'm very Irish. Where are you? Like, what's your cape spot? Papanessa and Mashpee. Are you familiar? What is it? Mashpee, Papanessa. All right, so you like, you just are hitting like the tip of the cape, kind of. Yeah, but that's all right because. Old exit two. That's, that's still the cape. No, but that's good because you don't have to deal with a lot of the traffic. I think you're before the bridge too, right? Are you right over it? Over the bridge. Right over the bridge. Over the I want to okay, go to the okay. cape for like a week this summer. Over the summer. Yeah. That's the cape's the place to be in the summertime. I'll, I'll You've say never that. Been? Yeah. I'm yeah, actually very surprised. I'm very never surprised. Been to Cape Cod. He's like the most Massachusetts dude I know. I'm very surprised. Sheesh, That's really? Damn. Do Bobby, summer. dude, you know. I feel like Bobby Lang's the most. I feel like every time guy. someone, every time we interview someone, they're like, "Oh, I'm from here." Mark's like, "Oh yeah, I bet he he knows like everywhere in All the right, town." That's fair. Okay, that's fair. But right, not right. The Cape. You never go over. Never the been. Bridge. To, I've, been, I've been to the Cape. I'm sorry. My freshman year of college, technically, even though I wasn't really in college, we got a house in Falmouth overnight. Falmouth is dope. I was there for. I was there for. Mashpee's next to Falmouth. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I was there for legitimately twelve hours and left in the morning. That counts. Did you at least go to the beach? No. Uh (laughs) Fuck no. No. They just got blackout drunk at a house near the beach. Yeah. I also (laughs) like slept at a girl's house in Barnstable once. Is that the Cape? Barnstable's the Cape. Okay. Kinda. I think it's like kinda. That's over the bridge. Kinda. Everything past Plymouth. Is over is on the cave. Fair enough. Really? Is that like the Te- technically? I think so. I didn't know this. Like, really? Like if you ask someone from Plymouth, they'll tell you they're from the cave. But that's no, not Plymouth. The cave. I do not count Plymouth. But oh, once you hit the bridges, I, I, I'll, I'll give I'll give you that. I'll like, give you that. Technically. Sagamore, the town of Sagamore, that's questionable. Yeah. But it's considered. This is gonna be an Instagram poll. Do you, do you this consider? Is be an do you consider poll. situate the cave? No. No. No, but a lot. I know a bunch of people who do. Do you know Situate has the highest population of Irish, Irish people, people yeah. like in the country per and town? And we're second. Braintree is? Braintree's second. No yeah. way. Yeah. No fucking way. Is Are that, you serious? It goes like, uh, it goes like Situate, Braintree, Milton, or Situate, Milton, Braintree, something like that, yeah. Aren't the Dropkick Murphys from Mil- Milton? They might be. I'm not Where sure. Where are they from exactly? I'm not sure. I actually don't know. Okay, that's interesting. Did you see that fucking video series I did? With Which like one? in Massachusetts countries yeah, or towns? Yes, yeah. Where do you think like so you think Braintree would also be like Ireland? Saugus is, is very Saugus Irish. Italy. Oh uh, Braintree Saugus Let me Italy. Say that. Braintree Braintree was very Irish. When I grew it, up it was very Irish. Really? What is it now you think? It's a little bit more diverse. Right. Is uh, it really? You I, know what Waltham got? Yeah. Uh Ghana, I believe. Really? Like, this is the highest population of Ghana, Ghanese people. No shit. Like, in the state. Huh. Lowell's Cambodia. Lawrence is the Dominican Republic. Right. You know where Russian people are at? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Polish is uh, Chicopee. I've never been to Chicopee, but apparently it's, like, kind of towards Western Mass. I would have said Dorchester. Maybe it used to be Dorchester, because Dorchester right. has the Polish Triangle. Right, that's right. But. What's your favorite spot to go out here? Or Boston. Yeah. Anywhere in Boston. You're a Boston girl. You like to get a... Do you think it's too much of, like, a to-do sometimes? Like, finding parking and shit? Or, like, the Uber's, like, 85 parking. bucks? I'm never driving. Yeah, you're never driving, right. See, I like to drive everywhere. Uber. That's my problem. Yeah. Uber. I like to you drive and have my car. The app and you go. I'm I know. telling you right now, if you're going into Boston for a night of drinking and you aren't taking the train in, you're doing it wrong. There's you're no, doing tra- tra- take, wait, There's take, no wait. train from Saugus, so I would have to Uber to a train. <laughs> To what, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You'd have to. It's either Revere or you go to Oak Grove and Melrose. Yeah, so that's not convenient. Wait, so wait. Here's the. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. The night, I'm gonna get back on the train and then Uber from Melrose or Revere back. Hold to on. Saugus. But so drinking I think, in the train on the way to the city is so much. I fun. think the move is to take the train into Boston and Uber home. Okay, I'm, I I agree with that because the that's train, what I would do. The train will stop First off, running the train stopping the running out, at, yeah. two, at twelve at night is the fucking okay. stupidest or get thing a ever. Ride. 
Huh? Just ask a friend for a ride. Or that. I mean, I always feel like a burden doing that. I never wanted to be that guy that was like, yo, come pick me up. Like, don't. I I always do that. I would rather. Do you really? I love getting rides from people. Do you want to come on next? I, I. Yes. Yeah, that's a yes. (laughs) You're a nurse. Oh, Oh, okay. She told us. She ratted you out. What type of, so what type of nurse are you? I'm a neuro nurse. So you do like nervous system things. The like brain. Brain disorder, brain. seizures, strokes, okay. that type of thing. Cool. So my um a guy my a girl my dad used to work with just found out that she has brain cancer because she was taking seizures and they found something on her frontal lobe oh right God. here. And they I mean they did the emergency surgery and fucking removed it or whatever they did. I don't know what, but it's scary oh, shit. I'm scary so shit. No, no, it's, I mean it's scary. it's fine. I met her like three times. It's still terrible. I mean yeah. But I figured commonplace for us to talk about right now since you're into the yes, whole neuro is, thing. Yes, a lot of what we deal with as well, yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I work at Beth Israel. That's my hospital. That's your hospital? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Good hospital. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, that's why I, I was telling her, I was like, <laughs> dude, like, my dad's like, why don't you just go to a private practice in, like, a town close to Saugus? I'm like, no. I want to be at, like, the best place. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I go to sure. Beth Israel. I don't yeah, mind taking awesome. the... Ro- First off, the valet is so cheap. Oh really? How it's much is it? So cheap. It's like five they bucks. Valet I mean, look, your I'm car not picking like, my hospital based on the valet. That's probably that's, you should. Hold on. That's one dude, of the last things. Dude, I was there for three hours with this fucking knee thing the other day. Yeah. Fifteen bucks to valet my car. I was that's like, sign me up, dude. Are you I kidding think me? That is pretty important too. Trace. The same guy's valet in your car. It's accessible, people. dude. It's yeah, accessible. Exactly. Very Plus, it's not in. The, it's not in like that busy of a. I mean, yeah, actually, it kind it's of is. It's like a side street though. The where the parking garage. It is. Yeah. It's like. It's not. It's not that bad. Not no, yeah. Mass General's a joke. No. Have you been to Mass General? I mean, luckily, I I can't say I've been so to the Mass hospital General. A long the entrance time. is like a big like cul de sac. So Mass General, the entrance is like a big cul de sac. It's like yeah. a big driveway. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You- so it just ends up like, can I pause? How long can I like? Uh, you know, the guys directing you in and out, and then like the fucking garage is big. It's a big fucking to do. So, um, where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from Stoughton. Stoughton? The home of fucking Ikea? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Ikea. You, so wait, she needs to tell me about Town Spa. Oh, so okay. what's the deal with... Can I tell you something? All right. Where's three your minutes. Uber's you Okay. Can I just tell you something? Yeah. I'm like out on this bar pizza thing. I'm just not into it. It's not for me. I don't love Why? it. I tried Linwood and I was like... It's the same shit. I know. That's the point. Right. So yeah. everybody's like, no, you got to try Town Spa or Cape Cod Cafe or some shit. And I'm like, uh, the best bar pizza I had was a Braintree Brew House. I swear to Christ. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I've, no, I've been saying better. for years it's the best pizza it is. out there. Yeah. And you are right. Yeah. You are right. And it's, no, I, I mean, no offense. Town Spa is so good. Like, I'll, get, I'll give you that Town Spa is good for sure. The honey mustard. It's basically the same pizza. It's kind of the, the same. Mustard. It's close. I haven't had I haven't had that. Do you, like other, first mistake. do you like other types of pizza or are you just a bar pie gal? I like other types of pizza. Okay. So you would eat like Neapolitan pizza and shit? What'd you say? I eat it, yeah, I'm not a picky eater. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, right. I, I, I like it. How close is Grey's Anatomy to actually working in not close, medicine? Not close at all. Not at all. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. So people aren't like sleeping in closets and, and no. fucking each other no, and like no. doing all this shit? Three minutes. Uh, no. Not are you guys no. all heading out, by the way? No, just me. Just you? What, do you have to work in the morning? No, I'm just tired. Just tired? Right, okay. Yeah. Um, where did you go to nursing school? I went to Regis. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, makes it, you guys. Roommates. Yeah, right. Here we go. It makes all <laughs> yep. sense. Where were you, like, deciding between with nursing programs? Just read. Just really? where I got in. Yeah. Did you apply anywhere else? Uh, yeah, I applied, like, everywhere. But it was between URI and Regis. Oh, okay. That's cool, then. URI's a hike. I feel like that's, like, a much more money and all this shit. Yeah. Like, it would have been more school, too, so Regis is the way to go. Plus, I feel like Regis is far enough away where you're, like, I feel like I'm somewhere else. Exactly. Instead yeah. of, like, you like know nice what I mean? Little small campus. Yeah, that's cool, then. You found the right spot for you, so that's dope. You know what I mean? Good for you. Yeah. What did you say your name was? Kiara. Kiara. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate you. Of course. Thank you for all having right. me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Bye. She's so nice. Yes, yeah, she is. I, feel, I don't want to keep you from your friends, by the way. You can go do whatever you want. You don't have what to did say, you say? I don't want to keep you from your friends. You can go do whatever oh, you want. Good. I feel bad. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, hey. no problem. Nice well, what was your name, by the way? Did we get your Kara. name? Kara. Kara. Yes. Okay. Kara. It's Kara, Kiara, and Kira. Is Kira the girl that threw Kara, the ice at me? Kara, Laura, yeah. Kira. Okay. Like, 
Molly also threw ice at me. Too. Is this Molly? Cool. What is that? Oh, that's all right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, Got you. Nice to meet you. Great right. to meet you as well. Nice to meet you. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no you. problem. Thank uh, you. If, if you don't have somebody planned, that dude said he wanted to come. He said he wants to talk to you about your rating of Buffs Pub and then talk wings with you. Who? The guy who was just right here. He says oh, come get him back. in here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He's Where coming. is that guy? He's, right, he's back there. Let me get him. Is it the guy with the scally? No, nah, it's the guy at the very end of the bar. Does he the, seem, a, black does he seem like a piece of shit or is he cool? Nah, he seems cool. Okay, that's fine. Go yeah. get him. Yeah, then definitely. Duh. Yeah, he did. He's about to come over. He's talking. I think he's talking about your, your buffs. So he, he was like, look. The rating was a little low. I get it. He didn't get the regular Buffalo. I didn't say, dude. What do you mean? I said they were the best wings in the fucking state. Oh man. What does he mean the rating is low? Let's get him in here. Let's get him in here. Yeah, we got to get him in here. Yeah. I also need to get this girl down the end of the bar with the straight like blonde hair. She Wait, needs to get in. The, the one like playing her with her hair. Yep. Yeah, she yeah. needs to come on the show immediately. Yeah, she knows. It. She knows she's bad. Yeah, she needs to come on the show stat. So that needs to happen. Two nice guests so far. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, is he coming? He's coming through. Let's do it. Love it. Let's do it. Come on in. Uh, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing, man? Great to meet you. Mark. Kip, nice to meet you. Kip? An electric name. What's going on? What's up, baby? What's up, buddy? How you doing, bro? It's my big brother. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Justin, how you doing, buddy? Mark. Hey, how you doing, man? Mark, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? What's going on? Oh, hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Yeah, nice so to meet you guys. you went to Buffs Pub the other day. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. You admitted that you started out wrong because you got the Parmesan garlic. Definitely did, yeah. Fair. The buffalo was really good. Electric. Though. What was your ranking at? One, one out of ten. Did I not give, did I not give a score? <laughs> you might have, but I think I clicked out after you said fire. I would I would put Buffs at a solid 9.1. I think that's fair. 9, 9.1. I think that's what everyone else is saying. Yeah, Buffs is phenomenal. I mean, the, I mean the 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 makeup of the wing is fucking fantastic. It's like crispy on the outside, it's moist on the inside. Good quality. Like, it's good as, quality. It's, as pure as can be, it's really. great. It's a great. It's a phenomenal and fucking also wing. Also, a nice little like towny bar. That's oh, the, fire. It, dude, it's like it's like um, it's kind of like Linwood. Yeah, it's like a you can tell they haven't changed the place in fucking know, fifty yeah. years. I've Probably never been yeah. There, but it sounds fire. <laughs> Linwood's in Randolph. It's like but a pizza place. What I'll tell you is, I'm from I'm from Barnstable, so I'm from Cape Cod. You're from Barnstable. Yeah. You said okay, cool, great, great. Me, me and my brother from Cape Cod. Gotcha, okay. cool, nice. Uh, have you been to DJ's Wings? No, but people have been in the comments chirping about it a little bit, and I'm you saying okay. Go to DJ's Wings. I just, I dude, I just Nianus tried. Is, the, yeah. It's the spot to be. My man. I just. I don't know who this so, guy is, but he knows. Oh, you've been on the. Oh, what's up? My man, I didn't recognize it was you. You have the hat on. What's up, pal? Dude, what's I up, my man? Tonight. What's going on? Yeah, what's see? happening? Yeah, you can hang out to whatever you want to do. Switch the mic off. Yeah, whatever you got to do. I like the jacket, dude, and the V-neck. Look at it. Look at this guy right now. How advice? You got to give him one mic. Double mic? Yeah, yeah, that's electric right there. That's a power move right there. So you're a Barnstable guy. Yes, sir. Okay, so, um. You got if are you like are you a chicken wing like guy like are you a wing guy? I mean I'm a big fan of wings. Yeah. Okay, so you're a wing Mama guy. Mama Goose. Where, where is Cambridge? The, where, okay, I've heard of that place. I got to. Unbelievable subs. So I'm getting on. I'm getting Have on the. You ever heard of Mama Goose? I haven't. I'm. We're gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to try it. You you get a you get a large sub Mama Goose sub. You're asleep. No after shit. Fucking thirty minutes. <laughs> is that a good thing though? Yes. I don't know, You're man. I don't night. know. That's a coma. That's I think, a, that I know. sounds like a Sunday hangover. Sunday, I, figure it out Sunday my parlay's gone already yeah. by like 4 o'clock. I, exactly. I know what this oh, is. Absolutely. And listen, listen, it serves a purpose. So I like it. I, I, you, I, only, it you only eat half the sub and then you get the, half, the rest of the half the sub. Are you a steak and cheese guy? Yes. Okay, Carl's then. steak and cheese. Carl's in Walton. Walton. I've heard. Should we kiss? There we go. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, we're not So, gay. listen, I will tell you not something right. camera, but I have so, gay, cut I'm the camera, gay, I'll bro. show you. So, I so I'll say this. Buffs that mild hot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't really love spicy spicy shit, but with a little bit of zest, like their mild buffalo is perfect. The transparency it's, first of all is huge. Yeah, I'm you like, have listen, to be I'll tell you honest with your I'll tell you all with your audience. I say it all the time. I go, I'm not a huge like spicy food nut. But I do like a little bit of like zest, and those my, that mild sauce is like yeah. perfect. It's got a little bit of kick, it's but fair. it tastes great. I like the taste of buffalo 
I just don't want my fucking schnoz to get yeah, burnt no, out no, of my no, head. You, you know what I'm saying? Can't go too heavy, but like. Those, uh, so those I'll tell you a one, phenomenal crunch and an unbelievable uh, win. A hundred percent agree. It's a pheno- It was absolutely like everything. Like, I rookie move by me not going Buffalo first. I'll, I'll tell you what. But you didn't know, so it's fair. I didn't know. I didn't know. What do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? It happens. Know. And now, what do I do? I learn and I go. Listen, this is how to approach this from now on. Exactly. Go in, go mild Buffalo, exactly. and do you everything learn, else. And you learn. And I, now it. I want to try. Now, how hot are the honey hot? So the the honey hot. At- uh, buffs, buffs. buffs in juxtaposition to like the fucking mild buffalo. So I, I've never had the honey hot. So I'll, I'll that be, was all I'll in the comments. Front. That yeah, was no, no, all no, in the comments. Saying, and people say that down for, for DJs too. But I'm I'm a uh, I'm a hot buffalo. That's my thing. Now you know where I've been loving the wings at. Where Jake and Joe's. In uh, Waltham. Okay, and so the one in Braintree. So I record our other podcast in Braintree at his place, okay. and we go there. That's like our after podcast so I was spot. Say, I'm close. I'm right next Are you a Jake and Joe's Jake guy? And what do you want from Jake and Joe's? Uh, wings. I love the wings, and they have a great burger. I love Jake and Joe's. You got to start coming over this after the podcast. So, like, you're just the only guy that doesn't come, and it pisses everybody off. I don't understand it. Why does he not come to the po- the after podcast? Hey, hey, hold on. Are you from Waltham? No, Georgetown. Are you from Waltham? No, sir. Are you from Waltham? No. All right. So the best wing place ever in Waltham, Massachusetts was Wings Express. It sounds like it would be the best. It was on Moon yeah. Street. Okay. It can, like I an honest, can I ask you an honest question? Now, though. Honest question. It's, they're, it's they're, they're closed. Like, they're closed. All right, so what's next? What is it now? Like, what is it now? Right now? What what kind of wings do you want? No, no, I the meant like best. what is I meant like what is the place now? Like what did it become? It closed? Did, did they open like a different place there? Like a Dunkin' Donuts there or something? A- after Wings Express went down, yeah, I stopped looking for wings in Waltham. I respect that move. If they close the Shangri La, just they, packed they, his bag. So you've been wingless for way he's too been many in re- years. He's been in retirement. Tri Tri City Tri City over by uh, Fiorillas. Okay. I stop and shop. Okay. On River Street. Okay. They have the best wings for Sunday football. Okay. Okay. A football, only... a football wing is different than like a restaurant wing. I say this yeah. all the time. But w- w- would you agree? But Wings Express was the place to go. Okay. That was the goal. That was the spot. That was. So I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm going to put football. you on some game right now. Would wings you drive Express. a little bit for wings? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Brown Jug and Chelsea. I'll drive 100 miles. Brown Jug and Chelsea right outside Boston. Literally, okay. like, from Brain, where you're in... Bar- are you, do you live in Barnstable right now? I'm in Waltham. Oh, now, okay. Half hour drive. Yeah. You know, like, Revere, Chelsea, no Everett? No-brainer. Yeah, absolutely. When I tell you com- comparable Mark to Mark Buff's yeah. Pub. Okay. I, I did the review today. So, so- did the oh, review today? Did? I gotta, I gotta it's another 9.1 way. Did you post it yet? Yeah, I did. All right, I have to yeah. watch it. Hey. Today, yes. Hey! hey you did Buff's Pub. Like yes. You. Yes, I did. Buff's yes. Pub is unfucking believable. That's what we've been talking about the whole time, you nutcase. I know. Are <laughs> out of your hey, mind? Hey, don't call me a case or you. All right, fine. Are we friendly? Do you want to just, yeah, do you want to just be a, wait, you want to just be a nut and not a nutcase? Are we doing friendly or are we doing we psycho? Are. No, we're doing no, friendly no, no, no. stuff. The know snug that. is too small to go psycho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, I'm where's getting, everybody else, by the way? I'm getting out of here, but I want to shout best out. Wi- best wing restaurant. Shout it out right now. Shout it out on the mic. All right, so first of all, no. you were right when you said Buff's Pub is fire. Okay. But I'm talking Cape because no one around here and a lot of people probably Somebody's got to represent. I'm glad that you're doing it. Yes. Don't know the Cape. Okay. All right. So obviously DJ's wings for your wings. Sure. That's it. And that's Hyannis. That's Hyannis. Got you. Okay. Got you. Okay. Got you. Okay. Is this camera on me? Is it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're right there. Yeah. Right. It, it is. But like you're kind of. All right. I'm back in now. You're good right there. There you go. So this is what it is. You got a Nejo in Hyannis. Also okay. Falmouth. The best Mexican food on the Cape. Okay. If you're not going there, you get to go. Okay. You got Chris Flatbread in Austinville, the best pizza on the Cape. Okay. Okay. And after that, it's you not got Cape Cod Cafe. Nope. Okay. Just Chris sure. Flatbread in Austinville, Massachusetts. Got you. And finally, last but not least, you trying to take a girl on a nice date? 
You're gonna go to Five Bay's Bistro. Sounds phenomenal. That's an awesome. Sounds as well. phenomenal. You're gonna have the best time hey, of your sounds life. Sounds phenomenal. It's gonna be perfect. You like Ruben? That's it. No, honestly, no. I've never tried a Ruben. I'm a big Turkey Club guy, though. Big Turkey Club guy, though. Um, this is my big brother. You guys, I don't, I don't need to be on anything. No, you're fine. You're on right now. Yes. Listen, you go to the Cape. Sure. I work. I opened Crest in Austin. I worked there for 11 years. Get out of here. Pizza. Love it. You got You guys got to reach out to me on IG yeah, just so nice I can like link with you guys. Great to meet you. Great to meet you as well. Yeah, please reach out to me on IG just so I can connect with you too and be like, all right, listen, I'm coming down, yada yada, whatever the fuck, or I'm coming on here. And I'll tell you guys about. And I'll tell you guys about Brown Jug. When you guys go up there, tell me I'll come meet you. As we'll hang. For sure. Sounds like a fucking plan. Cheers, fellas. Great to meet you guys. Thanks for watching my shit, by the way. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy, guys. Hey, appreciate you, buddy. Take it easy, all right? What's up, bitches? What's up? Are you just the most, he's like the most electric human being of yeah. all time. Yeah. He's like, he's a spark plug. Yeah. You just can put him in anywhere and he just immediately energizes the situation. Yeah. Probably. Can I also say something really quick? That is the best part in the side of a haircut that I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's Look beautiful. Look at that. That is Peaky Blinders-esque right yeah, there, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Hey, I mean, it's, it's like handcrafted. I did by a fucking Tommy Shelby. I know, but you look good, though. I mean, like, that's... Tommy Shelby. Yeah, you're right. You know what it is, though? You haven't lost the hair off that head either, my man. You still got a. Have you really? Oh yeah. No way. Your hairline looks perfect. I don't believe you. I don't know. I love that jacket though. Hey, I'm sweating. Are you really? Yeah. It's because you're always jacked up though. That's why. You're always moving at 200 miles an hour. That's why you're sweating. Let's be real. It's fucking hot today too. It was warm. It was like 55. So so did you wait? Did you did you agree with the Buffs Pub review? You mentioned that you didn't say anything. Buffs Pub is the best place. But uh, I need to I need to hear his. Kukarask. He's a very good friend of mine. Does he, like, live in there? Very good friend of mine. Yeah, does he live in there? What's the deal with that? Yeah. All right, so my idea on Buffs Four times a week. The Buffalo Tenders, definitely not. So you're a Tenders guy? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. You know wings, I understand. I'm listening, yeah. Tenders, you the best tender you can get is Buffalo Tender. Okay, fair. But, no, 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 but he was overestimating the Buffalo Tender. I was. At Buffs Pub. Right. But it has a Buff perfect pub. Sucks at the Declan, Buffalo Tender. Declan, 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 quiet, uh, quiet, quiet. Hold on, wait. Let me... It has he just said the Buffalo Tender was horrendous, by the way. I don't know if you heard that. He's don't listen I know. to him. I know. He's a peaky blinder, but he doesn't understand. He is. I, it might yeah. be. I don't know. I think it's like the perfect spice between hot, sweet, mild... It's, so it's I said, I was, tell, I was showing him, as you heard in the video, it's I was very like... a good mixture. It's not a good tender. I thought the mild buffalo was perfect because I don't like my fucking schnoz getting burnt yeah, out of my no, head. Absolutely. That shit's, I'm sorry. When I don't know how people just eat like absurdly spicy food and like enjoy it. No. I really don't. I'm like, I don't want to cry and blow <laughs> snot out of Pussy. my fucking nose. I know. I'm a bitch. What do you want me to tell you, Dev? And fucking... But that mild buffalo, perfect. It's I was perfect. like, this is great, dude. But I still do. I still got four of them at the house. And by the way, yeah. that fucking wing plate that they have... With the fries, the fries are like some of the best fries I've ever had in my life. So now, so now you take a tender, mix it with the fries. Yeah. That might be the best chicken finger plate on the planet, yeah. to be honest with you, right Absolutely. there. That's like high quality shit. And I'm a big wing guy, but you know, how hardcore the wing? How, see how me, hardcore? Kind of heavy set. I don't like any work. To what go do you into like my for chicken. franchise wings? Do you like Jake and Joe's wings? Because I love them. Jake and Joe's wings are solid with ranch. See, I don't. I, I hate. I do not, not a, like ranch. You're not a ranch guy. No, I'm a blue cheese nut. I don't I, like ranch. I would ranch. say it doesn't change with the blue cheese. You don't think so? No. Okay. But I'm. I'm Are a you big a ranch, ranch or blue guy. Cheese guy. Like, how do you? Where do you stand? I stand Jesus Christ, man! You didn't no, tell me see, before I went into business with you. What see, the fuck, so, man? So, if I were a walk. I'm a Waltham guy, born and raised. Born and raised Waltham yeah. guy, I got you. So, is this Wing Express place, was it like really it, as crazy it was, as it? it was the thing. Okay, it was the thing. I think that Tri-City Wings is the closest That's thing to it. To. Does Franco's have a good wing? Franco's has a really good... Listen to me now. I don't know hey. if you do pizza reviews, but hey, really good I, I used to review pizza a lot, yeah. They I do, do it very, a really do it every good pizza. They know what, what they're do you doing. Want to, what do you want to drink? I'm good. I got two of them right here, bud. Pussy. What do you want to drink? I'll do a mix. 
Mick Ultra? Yeah, I'll Mick Ultra. I'll never buy a Mick Ultra in my life. See, he's just, you can't. You gotta, you gotta get fun heavy with this kid. So, he's not gonna, see how, you know what I mean? I'm good. It's my period. I can't drink anything else right now. I'm just on my period this month. Yeah, you like that? You didn't think I was going to say that. I love it. Like, they, like, so being a Waltham guy, yes, yes. I would take salt and pepper wings from City Street. Salt and pepper wings? Yep. Now, how does that present? Like, how, what is that? I fucking love you. It's just breaded like a normal wing. Oh, so it's a regular? Okay. Yeah, it's coated in salt and pepper. You get it with City Street's honey mustard. Dip the salt and pepper wing in honey mustard. It'll... I'm telling Angel, you, dude. So I'm a honey mustard fucking fanatic. Trust me. Like a fanatic. I love yeah. honey mustard, dude. It's it's more on the honey side than a. Than See, like and the, the, this is the problem I have with Buffs Pubs. That that garlic parm wing yeah. is it's way too much. First of all, it's a lemon pepper garlic parm wing. Yeah. I read it wrong. I thought they were two separate wings. My fault. Because they have lemon pepper wings and yeah. then they have garlic parm wings. Yeah. I never. It's just one flavor. Way too lemony and garlicky. They need to like sprinkle, just sprinkle some palm yeah. on there. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, this would be great. But um, the honey hot is what everybody keeps saying in the comments. Really? The honey hot sauce is like the best sauce I've there. I've had buffalo and the lemon garlic parm from there. I didn't like the lemon garlic parm that I didn't much. Either. And I'm not a big buffalo guy, but they do it. Per they do it right. Because I don't like hot on my buffalo. Me neither. Like, I don't. It's gotta be like. A I good... just want it to taste like buffalo. Yeah. It's gotta have a good like. You can dip a sauce in it, and it's not going to tear you off. Do you like butt. Hooters wings? Do you like Hooters wings? Hooters? Yeah, are you a Hooters guy? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. Love you know Hooters. The, you know what the problem is with Hooters? Love Hooters. Do you ever, have you ever... The big tits. Have you ever... Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, that's a what problem. It is. That's why they have business. Yeah, right, and no, it's... I mean, listen, it ain't because of the food. The no, place wasn't not. a fucking steakhouse. You're fit, you're right. It's the boobies. It's, it's what it's essentially what it is, to be honest with you. Buff, you gotta try the uh, buffalo honey. The buffalo honey? Buffalo honey. Is that a thing? Yeah. You mean the honey hot? Yeah, same thing. Okay, so you know no, well, that's what it says on the menu. Okay. You're right because everybody in my TikTok video was saying fucking honey hot, honey hot, honey hot. What's going on out here? Oh, the strings coming over to the Thank you, Look at this. See, he does have a soul. Isn't it unbelievable? That's pretty cool. So, where... So, you know, you know what the problem with Hooters is? I, Have you I, guys ever just eaten at a restaurant and it just fucks with your stomach for some reason? Yes. And you're like, I just can't eat this. I just don't know what it is. Yes. Hooters does right. that to me. I can't eat it. It, See, it just fucks my I've stomach up. I've never been a big Hooters guy Chocos. Like, even like... So. The, sometimes the girls, like, they'll come up to you and they'll be like, it's fake enthusiasm. You know what of I mean? course it is. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. And it's like, it's like, not for nothing. I'm not a creepo or anything, but like, act like you want to be here. You yeah, I don't mean? blame you. I don't blame you. Right. Hey, listen, it's part of the show. Yeah, that's what it is. It's part of the it's fucking like your show. Your food's terrible, so you might as well not have shit. Listen, service. here's the reality. If you walk into a strip joint, I'm not even a strip club guy, right? I really, I've been three times in my whole fucking life. Are you gonna go sit in front of the fucking balcony with some chick? Just yeah, fucking no, yeah. I'm not. You gotta have some pizzazz. There's gotta be pizzazz there. It's gotta be pizzazz. You need pizzazz. I agree. A place like that, brother. A place like that, a place like that needs fucking pizzazzki. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. So I was just actually, I was just talking to him about it five minutes ago. The salt and pepper wings at City Streets. It's. I, I just bought a ticket to Bermuda now. with your credit card. You get it with honey mustard. It'll change your life. Did you? We're going right into my credit so, card. Oh, shit. shit. Fun story about the all-you-can-eat wings in City Streets. Last well, time you saw me, you could have done that. You used to I know. go in there I know. and eat fucking 50 wings for five, how, for five how, dollars. Is that, wait, it was five dollar all-you-can-eat wings? It was. So it used. So they changed it because they were losing money on it. Yeah, no shit. I, uh, that's the whole insane Bentley football that that's team. even a fucking thing. Yeah. Did you play football? Oh God, you went to Bentley? No, I... I Grew up in Waltham. Oh, you're from Waltham. So I went to Waltham High, everything. Gotcha, okay. Joined the Marine Corps at 18, so that's where I went. Now. Oh, good. Thank but, you for your service. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. So, as a high schooler, we used to go Thursday nights for wings, and we'd get the Waltham discount. Got you, got you. Know. you. So, there was a place like that in Haverhill. I'm from Georgetown. Yeah. So, Haverhill had this place, Sparky's. Yeah. But they did, like, crazy stuff. They had, like, a peanut butter and jelly wing and shit like that. Yeah, it was wild really? shit. It was fucking crazy, yeah. But I'm kind of like, so, 
Um, she's mad. Why is she mad? What did you do? Um, I bought her a drink. What did he, What did you do? And I, and I got the bill mixed up. My Just bad. Just sign everything. Sign everything. So what? It's all going the same place. There you go. Put that in your pocket right there. I bought, I bought her a drink, and she's flipping out. Some crazy shit happening right here. Do you like wings? Yeah. Do you like chicken wings? Yeah. What's, your okay. fa- what's your favorite? Okay, fair. That, yeah, that's fair. What's your favorite? Are you a buffalo person? No, I don't like buffalo. What do you like, then? It's like, uh, like honey... Like a classic. Classic honey? That's not classic a flavor. That is not a, yeah, that's not a, that's not a thing. The only classic wings yeah. is salt and pepper. Like honey teriyaki. Buffalo. Honey teriyaki. That's not a classic. That's not a, what that, is she talking like, about? I don't know like, what hey, she's saying. Honey and teriyaki. Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. yeah. All right, put them both on You guys got a sweet Chilean barbecue mustard out here? <laughs> you got chili? No, she's a Saugus girl. She's a Saugus gal. What? Do you know my cousin? I don't know. <laughs> Lorenzo like, Keegan. Oh. Oh. I didn't go to school. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> Mark is shutting up. Is that, wait, is your name Mark as well? My name's Mark. Oh, yeah. That makes two of us. What's up, brother? Did How you doing? Did you go doing? to school in Saugus? Yes. Okay, I went to school in Linfield. Yeah, yeah she's smart. Wait, in Linfield? Yeah, I went to Arlington Field. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you really? You creep. Oh, yeah, my you God. Wanna, you guys want to hear a phone call on, um, on... Is that Joe? Is that my buddy Joe? Hello? What's your name? Justin. Justin. What's up? Tonight. What, um... Yeah. Oh, then you went to AC? That's cool. You? I mean, that's a, I, people know that school. I have never... I didn't, know, I didn't know there was a school in Linfield that wasn't, like, what Linfield about you? High. That's crazy. Oh, you made it sound like it was a high school. I'm like, how is there a high school I don't know about in the north? That's crazy. I got you. Okay. I never understood the point of that, like a Catholic middle school. Like, wouldn't you want it in high school? You know what I'm saying? If you're going to send your kid to Catholic school, in theory, right? I don't blame you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I feel like they're better now. I feel like they're better now. They might be. Right. I have an interview at my old high school to be a substitute teacher next Wednesday. Where? Georgetown High. Yeah, I got to meet with the superintendent and shit. I'm trying to, like, keep my social media stuff, like, on the low. Because the way I think about it is, like, well, yeah, well, no, that'll never happen. But, like, I just would rather just people not know about it. So the way I'm looking at it is, like, it's something for me to do with, like, teachers that, like, I had in high school. You know, see people, like, whatever, and, like, um, like in between gigs and stuff like that. Like, I can just go for the day and, like, do something. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, see how much they, yeah, they pay, like, 150 bucks a day. I was, like, yeah, I'll fucking do it, whatever. Yeah, it's... You know what's a joke? Masco. I went in for the interview. They were like, we pay 100 bucks a day. I'm like, you're telling me between the towns of Topsfield, Middleton, and Boxford, that's what you're paying fucking substitute teachers? This place, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and they wanted me to re-fingerprint myself. I already had to do it for Newburyport High, where I coach. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. Have you had a fingerprint for anything? Like, do the federal fingerprints? Yeah, right? So you have to go to, like, a, a satellite location that they, like, run this out of. Make up an appointment on, like, a super specific day. It costs, like, 50 bucks. And then, like, go have it done. And, like, everything's got to be perfect. Like, it's just, like, a big, stupid process. And if you go from school district to school district. So if you were, like, a school nurse and you switch the next year, you'd have to do it all over again. Because they'd make you get three. So if you went from Georgetown to Masco, you have to do it again. But, yeah, well, Newburyport to Georgetown, it would be technically. But because, so because I'm a coach at Newburyport, they make me do it. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how that works. Hey, boys. I love you. I'll see you. Great to see you again, as always, my man. I love you. Hey, good to see you, brother. Thank You're the you best. Love you. Bye, buddy. I'll see you. All right. Take it easy. How do you like being a nurse so far? Appreciate you, bro. I love it. Hold on. <laughs> we'll go from right to left. We'll counter. Don't let her All right. Let me get this. Okay. I love nursing, but I want to work with kids because adults, when they're whiny, it's like, shut up. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. I agree with you. 
So at least when a kid is doing it, you know it's because they're a child. When it's an adult, you're like, you're a fucking piece exactly. of shit. Right, exactly. exactly. So I totally empathize with that. It makes me not, I would rather watch somebody die than help somebody that's whining at me. I'm not going to lie to you. I really would. I would rather watch somebody just choke on the sidewalk. <laughs> if it comes off as like annoying and like ear piercing. What did he say? So she's saying she wants to, she, she likes being a nurse. But she wants to work with kids instead of adults because when adults whine, they sound like little bitches. And when kids whine, you know it's because they need something. I get that. I get that. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that uh, makes perfect sense. You you hate, you hate when they come in this love. But I do like nursing overall. It's right. rewarding. Oh, it must be. Yeah. It must be. I couldn't be a fucking nurse. I couldn't do it. I think it takes a special kind of person. I'm not just like brown nosing you guys. Why do you not like nursing? No, I don't. I don't hate nursing. What hospital are you at? So I know not to go there. No offense. I work in New Hampshire, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> all right, so we shouldn't have a problem then. Just don't go to New Hampshire. Okay. That's all. Why do you not like no, it? I, I love... I. You went very 180 on this very quickly, so... You... No, okay. I like nursing. I work at a very small community hospital. We have no resources. Where are you from, like... New Town. Hampshire. Oh, you're from New Hampshire. Exeter. My mom lives in my mom lives in Newton. No way. New Hampshire. She got a my, little farm my there. My older brother works in. I, <laughs> she has a farm. A little farm, yeah. I, love I what almost. Else is new. I was this. I was this close away, Jay Fine, yesterday, from buying a pig for four hundred bucks. <laughs> no, you should have. A pig. A potbelly you pig. You should have. This lady had it on Facebook Marketplace for six fifty. <laughs> Hold on. Had it for six fifty. I haggle her down to four hundred. I'm like, I'll Venmo this lady right now and drive to fucking somewhere in New Hampshire. She added, I forget where, but I'll I mean, go. I should have. And I'll throw it in my back seat and drop it off at my mom's farm and just keep it in its own side of a paddock. No, they all, they all made How hard can it be to keep a pig? They eat anything. Like, they eat everything. That's the whole point. They, they all, uh, like. They all made fun of me from being, for being from New Hampshire because they're all from Massachusetts. So you're from Exeter? Yeah, but we went to school in Mass. So I play, I play baseball in the summer at that field. What, what field? The one behind your high school. Exeter High School? Yeah, the one behind, no yeah. No shit. Yeah, the fucking stupid Northeast Tides play at that field. Northeast How's this? Last Tides? year, their team, it's the North Shore Baseball League, so it's okay. all teams from, it's like a college baseball league okay. that I play in, like a wood bad league. Okay. So, last year, this Northeast Tides team, so it's all kids who play at like, Keene State, Plymouth State, um, okay. Franklin Pierce. My little Pierce. brother plays baseball. Okay. So it's a New Hampshire-based men's league team, right? Okay. So... Last year, they played in Rochester and didn't tell anybody until the beginning of the season. Yeah, that was like an hour and 20-minute drive on like a Wednesday night at 5.45. I'm like, dude, never again am I doing this. No. I just won't show up. This is stupid. No. And the field they play on sucks. Rochester, New Hampshire's a shithole. Yeah, it is. I, I just hated it. I mean, Exeter's better than you know Rochester. I, you know where I was on New Year's? Manchester. Manch Vegas? Manch Vegas. Why? You know why? Because my cousin is the GM of the GOAT. The GM of the... No I fucking love the goat. All right, okay, so this Manchester summer, wait, goat. so right okay, this summer, goat. so they run the Portsmouth goat, they run I the love Manchester the goat. goat, the Hampton goat, fuck the Hampton goat, Bernie's, Bernie's, and Wally's. That's like the whole restaurant. Group. Okay, all and right. And the goat in Newburyport, because it's yes, one in Newburyport it's now too. Goat in Newburyport? They just opened it's, it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It's dope. Yeah. Bernie's is like. Have you been to Bernie's? I've all right, so this summer we're so gonna just good. Jamie's gonna give us a hotel room on Hampton Beach. And we're just going to go send let it to know. Bernie's for an entire day. Let me, let me know. Let me know. the <laughs> best beach bar on the fucking it's so planet. Good. It's so Jay good. Jay Fine, it's like an open two-floor bar <laughs> with like a stage. It's, it's in Hampton, Hampton Beach. Hampton Beach. Dude, Hampton, Hampton Beach is, like, is a shithole. Dude, Hampton but... Beach is the funnest place to just walk around like during the day with nothing to yeah. do. It's fucking it's, awesome. Just don't. New get... Hampshire. What are you, nuts? Just don't step on any needles. You didn't know, you didn't know where Hampton Beach was. Are you serious? What? But you did did you not know it was in New Hampshire? I have no idea. I didn't know it was in New Hampshire. North that's Hampton. not the one that anybody talks about, dude. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's a crazy, that's a Beach, crazy thing Hampshire. that you didn't know that it was in yeah. New Hampshire. I'm just saying. Um yeah, you guys should come with us. Let me let me know. Yeah. The goat in Manchester is sick, by the way. I've never been. Oh, it's fucking dope. It's like yeah. a full bar. It's like a half a bar, half like a concert venue. I've been boycotting it. Why have you been boycotting it? What happened? The girl that my ex cheated on me with goes there. Oh, because of fuck. You're probably better looking than she is Ugh. anyways. Who cares? You should go there and apply pressure on her. I don't want to hear that shit. There's no way I would ever let some chick keep me out of a fucking bar. 
right? Yeah. There's I'm no just way. Non confrontational. Is he just sucking up all the drink? Yeah, he, that's what he does. I know. Just get him whatever he wants. Just, just, get, just, just, just give him anything. Who cares? This kid. Every time he's like, oh, yeah, I'll take a fucking uh, Mick Ultra, you know what I'm saying? I By the way, no, you're right. No, you don't. You never do ask. I got to say, you know, my, the only like beer I really like is Miller Genuine Draft. You ever had it? What? Miller Genuine Draft. It's like that's, my favorite that's, beer. That's your beer of choice? Yeah, I don't drink beer, really. Well, that's not the one to start with. That's. I disagree. <laughs> Wait, you know what else I do like, though? Sam 76. Okay, yeah, that's that good. shit's good. It's I can drink that, like drink. Yeah. dude, I just don't react well to beer. It like makes me stuffy and makes me feel I bloated. That. I get that. So it's like I'd rather just. We're drink. not beer girls. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. It's, it's like, like drinking. Bread. Exactly, drinking it's like drinking bread. bread. You know what I'm saying? Like Sam Adams sucks. Like liquid wheat. <laughs> but liquid wheat. Yeah, exactly. It's literally like liquid wheat, dude. I've heard drinking a 12 pack of Budweiser is the equivalent. Dude, I believe it. Like when I drink I beer, it. like the wrong beer, I literally feel my face like I'm taking an allergic reaction to shellfish. You might be gluten intolerant. And I'm, just like, intolerant. And I'm just like, you should probably get that checked out. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's like weird as shit, dude. I'm, I would rather do have like a nice tequila. You know what I'm saying? Like tequila? that's really, yeah, anything like yes. that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A little tequila scheme. But. Will you do the day trip to Hampton Beach? Tequila. Yes. Yeah, fuck yes. yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Yes. Dude, we stay for free. Jamie, they have, like, free hotel rooms that we can just stay in. It's great. Our cousin, Jamie, like, my cousin, Jamie. You know the one that I mean? <laughs> our, our cousin, Jamie. <laughs> yes, him. That's what he does. So he's, like, a regional GM of, like, bars in New Hampshire. That's what he does. So he used to run Bijou. No in Boston, way. yeah. And then he left and went to New Hampshire because he lives in Hampton. So New Hampshire's... It's all right. New Hampshire's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. There's too much dead dead space. Like, too much dead zone. Like, there's too much nothing. There's a lot of farms. Yeah, there we really is. I worked on a farm. Are you also up. from New Hampshire? No. no. Where are you from? Gardner, Mass. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. You know, I know Gardner. How? When I used to wake up for school in like a snowstorm every morning because I'm from Georgetown, when you wait, right, the town before Georgetown was Gardner, Mass. So every time I would see Gardner and then be like, <gasps> and then you're just waiting in, the, in like suspense to see if it was it's us. It's the furniture capital of New England. The virgin capital of New England? Furniture. Yes. Oh, furniture capital. I thought she said the virgin also, capital yes. of New England. I was like, what, dude? Like, what? Why? Do they make a bunch of, like, manufacture a bunch of furniture and shit? Yeah. Is that, do they call you guys Chair City? Yeah. Oh, my God. That is the worst. Hold on. So I did a video a couple months back about like weird high school mascots and like Ashland was like number one. They're the clockers. Electric. That place is unbelievable, right? Somebody was like, you should do Gardner Mass because they nicknamed us Chair City. I'm like, that's the worst nickname I've ever heard for a town. Because we make a lot of chairs. Because they make a lot of chairs. <laughs> There's a giant chair at the elementary school. Bye, honey. I'll see you. That's like, I mean, I, I like a town embracing like what they're known for, but like Chair City is like, that's <laughs> brutal. Like that sucks. That's the least sexy thing. You have thing. to go there and climb the big chair. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to have to do. That's yes. what we're going to have to make. Yeah, Another exactly. day trip. So where do you live? You live in New Hampshire still? Yeah. So then how do you... I went to school here. Oh, I live in Waltham now. Regis as well? Yes. You guys are all Regis gals? Yes. Uh, a bunch of Regis. Okay, I got you. A all bunch right. of Regis. How do you like the Apple Watch? The Apple Watch? I mean, I like Did it okay. Did you buy that custom band? <laughs> no, I bought it off of a sketchy TikTok website. <laughs> what the hell is going on out here? No, but people are selling those. Like, women are like, it's a new, like, creative outlet. Like, people are selling, like, Apple Watch bands. That's a good idea, I think. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. People it's like how people do, like, custom, like, phone cases and shit. So they do that. They do, like, custom Apple Watch bands now. Is it worth it to get the Apple Watch? That's not an Apple Watch. <laughs> Wait, that's not. That's so just, just a Fitbit. Using Fitbit to hold I'm just gonna buy a Fitbit and not put it on, and then tell people I have an Apple Watch because that's an Apple Watch to me. <laughs> Dude, I would. I'm just gonna buy a Fitbit and not turn it on, and then tell people I have an Apple Watch. That's like a. Yeah, that's Perfect. like my new like goal in life. Yeah, 100, percent dude. What? Fitbits are like kind of like. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I wish I still had one. It just makes everything so easy to track, you know what I'm saying? Like, then having to manually do it, and then I have the phone thing, and it's like, whatever the fuck. Um, what was I going to say? Do you guys have a favorite bar, like, in Massachusetts? 
Yeah, Jocko's. Oh, this place? Jocko's. Yeah. This place is electric. Our, I mean, our picture's on the wall. wall. Where? In the middle, in between the saxophone and the yingling sign. What a great place to be. Yeah. Between the sax and the because yingling mirror? we were here every Thursday can, and yeah. Saturday for really? all of senior we'll year. No shit. Yes. That'll get your picture on the wall, yeah. I feel like. I didn't know if it was like a St. Patrick's Day thing and you guys like oh, no. sent no, it and they just I took a picture. Like we do come here on St. Patrick's though. Is it fucking a scene here? Yeah, they have a bagpiper play on the top of the bar. <laughs> Did I tell you that I'm trying to get him to let us record a podcast that day here? Yeah. You Which should. would just be like absurd. I might go out for St. Patrick's Day this year because I boycott it every year because I'm Italian. So I don't go out. I'm Irish, Irish so. I'm Irish too. Are you really? Wait, you're Italian too? I'm Irish. Well, right. Uh, like, yeah. I can kind of tell. You what? I can kind of tell. Why? You have, like, pretty, like, brownish hair. Oh, I thought you were going to say redhead. That's No, no, no. You have, like, pretty, like, light brown, like, hair. No, I don't think I'm a redhead, but no, I've been told I'm a redhead. No, no, you're not. No. Thank no. you. No, fuck no. Absolutely we have not. this on recording now. Yeah, I'm definitely not. everyone I know. Definitely fucking not. No, no chance. Um, how did you guys, like, read just as a whole? I Why does everyone it. drop their phone when they sit in this, in this? That's, like, the eighth drop phone tonight. It's crazy. Just put it on the table if you want. Feel That's bad. Okay. You got it with your hot, I, with your nooner there. Yes, I got it. How did it. you guys like Rigi? I liked it. I just think of the guy that hosted Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Wait. Oh yeah. Every time I hear <laughs> Rigi, yeah, that's like who exactly who I think of. They should have a picture of that guy like at the school. No, he died like five, six years ago. Wait, he died? Yeah, he died. he's been dead for like six or seven years. Regis was an all-girls school until like ten years. Was ago. it really? Yeah. No so shit. So it's like still like 80-20. We have no good sports. Really? False. I heard your soccer team is pretty good. Your girl's soccer team is yeah, pretty good. Okay, girl's pretty soccer good. is good. We had a girl that came country. on this show who's a little bit older country. than you guys. She went to Regis. Yeah. yeah. Her name's Maddie yeah. Michaud. I don't know if you know her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 she's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's cool as fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. Regis is lit. There's a t- I know. I sang the song in the talent show when I was in second grade. You sang Tessie by the Dropkick <laughs> Murphys in a I talent love the show? Dropkick Murphys. I go every year. To the House of Blues show? Yep. <laughs> That's sick. I'm not going to lie. So, question. We were just talking about this. Are they from Milton? I don't know. Do you want me to Google it? She said she's the biggest Dropkick Murphys fan of all time. No, no, no. Play that back. I did not you say that. You said I love the Dropkick <laughs> Murphys. Just play that back. No, no, no. All right, right. You didn't say that. You, no, you didn't Rose say that. Tattoo is the best song. Okay. I'm not a huge drop. You like this better than shipping up to Boston? I like skinhead. No, I always do a little Irish jig to that. Okay, you got a jig to this. It's a jig. No, it's what no. it is. Skinhead on the MBTA? No. <laughs> That's my dad's favorite song. What's up? I know you're a recurring. Nah, you're a recurring guest. Different Quincy? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you can come on really quick before we wrap. Absolutely, yeah. You'd be the last guy. Be the last guy. I'll be right here. Okay. Last question Have you guys been any live shows like this past year? Yeah. Where'd you go? Um, Besides Dropkicks. No, I went to Sam Hunt a couple, like a week ago, and then I Was saw that at? Fe- uh, the Frozen, Frozen Fenway. Frozen Fenway, right, right, right. It was free. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's and like a good looking dude. He's good. He makes good music. He was an athlete. He was... He pl- I he no, I thought he no, had a he tryout. Did he really? He, he wasn't like a starter, but like... I yeah. thought he made the practice squad. He was on the squad. roster. He was on the roster, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, Sam right. Hunt. It's a chief. Yeah, it's a chief. Everybody is a chief, okay? Um, yeah, Sam Hunt's got it fucking made, dude. Luke Combs. Dan and Shay. I feel like... Oh, so you're a big country music oh, girl. Yeah. You guys country gals? Um, and Dropkick Murphys. Uh, yeah, right. That's the other side of the coin. So, I say it all the time. One of the best shows I've ever been to, talk about Fenway, was like Florida Georgia Line with the Backstreet Boys like seven years, with like six Backstreet years ago. Boys. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah. I was like, dude, Florida Georgia Line is fucking awesome. They broke like, up. I would see them... Wow. What? Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't know. You know what the craziest dub is right now? If you can get, like, Morgan Wallen tickets. It's impossible to see that guy. Yeah. You I would have get to seats. be rich to get Morgan Wallen tickets right now. You see, ri- ri- what? Rich. Like, I would have to be rich to get Morgan oh, Wallen tickets Oh, oh, right I thought you were talking about, like, a guy named Rich. I was like, yeah. who the fuck is Rich? Okay, I got <laughs> sure. you, yeah. Just Rich. You got to just see Rich a little rich. bit. Rich, you got to go talk to Rich. Do you already have concert tickets bought for any show this year? Yeah, yeah. you want to see my list of concerts? Oh, I'm shit. Going to 12 concerts this year. Holy shit. I wasn't shit. invited. Wow. All right. All right. I went to Sam Hunt. Then Sam I went Hunt. To Dylan Scott. Who's that? He's what? A country, country singer. singer. Okay, cool. Morgan Wallen. It's Do you happening. like seeing the country singers before they blow up? 
Yeah, like Zach Bryan. You know him? Yeah, where did that kick come from? Like, already who? Bro- blown up. Okay. Dropkick. Dropkick. Zach Brown Band. It's Dropkicks. Oh, that's St. Patrick's Day every... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cody Johnson, country. Okay. Is Zach, Bra- is Zach Brown Band Fenway? Zach Brown, yeah. Okay. I go every year to that I'm pretty sure they're like a residency of Fenway at this there. point. You should go. Yeah. Zach Brown? They do a lot of covers, too, of like rock, too. That's awesome. Yeah. I love Zach Brown Band. I think they fucking... I, I I totally could see that being a real thing, thousand percent. Um, Lady A country. Thomas I like Lady Ryan, A. Country. Okay. Um, Luke Combs country. I fuck with Luke Combs heavy. And then I'm going to a barefoot music festival in New Jersey, all country. What do you mean, like bare, like literally barefoot or? Yeah, it's on the beach. You're not Jersey Shore. Oh, that's so sick. You should go in June. I have to get a sponsor trip down there or something yeah, like that. I got to do this with, like, me and, like, in three of you guys and one cameraman. Like, we need to make that happen yeah. 100%. Fuck. You wouldn't, you say, yeah, you wouldn't even go. You'd be like, I have hedge better stuff that I can't go. Or Alyssa wouldn't let you go. <laughs> one of two things is going to happen. Um, that sounds yeah, electric. Big concert gal. Is Kane Brown coming to Gillette? Fenway. Oh, it's Fenway. I'm going to try and finagle tickets to that because I got a couple They're family expensive. members that want to go. Are they really? If you can, let me know. I you got it absolutely. Uh, yeah, I would say that, I would like say two, that's probably $300. accurate. I know it's an insane. Do you want to get this gentleman on real quick before yeah. we? Oh, you Thank ladies you. were phenomenal. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, go, Zippy. I like the sweatshirt hate, right away. I, love I hate the to be the I hate to be the bearer of the bad news joining in last, but let's get the no, combo yo, going. We're, we're bringing yeah. in the closer. You're Papal Bond. Yeah, uh, dude, you yeah. close the show out. This is the best someone's, spot to be in. Someone's yeah. got to get shipping up to Boston on the. Uh, on the mic right now. You think so? Why? You think so? <laughs> well, we just started some tests. If I'm Pavel, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I know. All right, all right, all right. What's the conversation of the week, boys? Um, right now, it's just, uh, we were just going over, like, kind of catching up with people tonight. Talking yeah. about people's jobs, what they do for work and shit. Yeah, well, um, what do you got? What kind of updates you got? Anything crazy? Yeah. Up, all, right, all right, real life, catching up. I'll do it the fastest way I can. I work at Morgan Stanley. I do investment operations. I work in finance. Jesus fucking Christ. There you go. I go in the office. I'm in Boston twice a week. What are you doing here? You should be in Southie just pulling broads with that oh, resume. Dude, I'm telling you right now, Southie blows. Sucks. I know. Oh, Southie yeah. might be the most overrated thing. It sucks. The most Stinks? overrated place sucks. in America. I hate no Southie. Shit. I hate no, it. No, not, not, not the Boston area, not the Massachusetts area. The ever. country. Yeah. Southie might be the most overrated place Fuck it, ever. Awful, awful I shit. hate Southie. Really? I hate it. Okay. So I live. Hi. What's Good up? to see you too. So, am I a part of your podcast now? Technically, yeah, you're in the background. Absolutely, yeah, you're like one of the people in like the background. It's dope. That's like what you want to be. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I yeah, appreciate it. That's what you want to be. That's what you want to be. So I'm, I'm going to share my quick story. Go so ahead. I live. I live walking distance from Moody Street. So I'm always out here. Always whatever. Yeah. I live. I'm not kidding you. A three minute walk down that way. Nice. Okay. I live at the. Uh, Watch Factory Lofts. Okay. If you're in Waltham, whatever, you know the area. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I'm quick to this area. I would so much rather spend a uh, night, Friday night, Saturday night here, than waste 50 bucks on an Uber into Boston, into South. It's 50 for the Uber right away. Exactly. Right. I can get around here for five of my buddies, then go out to South. And have the best night of your life. Exactly. I don't right. know. I just think Southeast is way overrated. I would agree with you to a certain extent for Southeast sure. Southeast very overrated. I feel like it's also way too jam-packed. It's like brutal. everywhere is just sardine city. You, you know can't what I'm just saying? show up to Southie and uh, you couldn't show up to Southie on like a Friday or Saturday night and just be like, oh, this place looks cool. Let me walk in here. Right. It's like, oh, I gotta stand in line for 45 minutes at least. Before I'm getting oh, into the any line place. Is, I, yeah. see, I hate lines. I hate waiting in line. I, I gotta go somewhere I know somebody. I hate it. Can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. There's dudes that will be in line in, in like a, lot, a bar in Southie at like one thirty-five in the morning, and it's like, I, dude. I like, waited here like three months ago. It was like a six-person line. And I go, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Right. Something yeah. crazy has got to be going on here. Yeah. So there to be a but line in the waiting shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just it's I feel ridiculous. Like the, I feel like this is the perfect bar. It is. I love this place. I talked to my buddy. So my buddy's up. I'm originally from Connecticut. I got my buddy up here. From, guy? Yeah. Are you a Boston sports fan in Connecticut? I am an all Boston sports fan. Gotcha. There we go. All all right. Boston sports. So you're Northern Connecticut then technically, right? I'm actually right like dead in the middle. Dead in the middle. I'm from Weathersfield, which is right next to Hartford. Shout out to Weathersfield. Uh, you don't need to shout anything out. Okay, Connecticut fine. blows. Why do you think Stink. I'm here right now? 
it's land Regardless, opportunity. I'm like, like our biggest our biggest saying was two hours from New York, two hours from Boston. Gotcha. Right in the middle. Gotcha. Grew up an all Boston sports fan, had family up here, went to school up here, stayed up here, whatever. I got my buddy here who is from the same town of Connecticut. And we're just having a great time. Like I again, like I said, I'm a two minute walk most in my yeah. apartment to here. 100%. Great time. I'd much rather do this any night of the week than yeah. spend fifty, sixty dollars. Because Uber, they went public. They uh, that's right. They were a private company two years ago. Yeah. Last year they went public. Their prices went crazy. Well, Uber's they've stated the only way they're they're still not a profitable company. By the way, Uber Uber says they're not going to make money until they replace all of their human drive, or at least the majority of their human fleet. With self-driving Uber vehicles. Yeah, because you don't have to fucking... Yeah, exactly. exactly. But, but I think they got to yeah. worry about that issue in maybe 2030. Yeah. But I'm saying right now that Uber's still at a net operating loss. Uber has not been profitable. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's like them and started. Twitter that lose the most amount of money yeah. every year. It's crazy. It's insane. I completely agree. I will say... Oh, appreciate it. This, guy, this guy's down the hall for the fucking bar. He's an ocean. Oh, good for him. So, uh, <laughs> so me, me and my buddy, I'm just gonna give a quick shout out. We're ahead, huge, dude. we're huge soccer fans. So Arsenal yeah. playing the Premier League. Just to give a background of the uh, podcast here. Arsenal, they're top of the league. Biggest game on Sunday. Who you basically, guys playing? Tottenham. Okay. So basically, for Boston sports fans, Red Sox, Yankees, Celtics, right, Lakers. I would say Nets nowadays. Yeah, probably. Or the, six, or the Sixers, Nets, yeah. And yeah. then I would say Bruins. You can even say Celtics, like Bucks. Yeah, I would say Sounds any of those. Bucks, and yeah. then I would say Bruins. Bruins Canadians. Canadians. I wouldn't even say Canadians. I know, right? Canadians stink. I know. I would say Bruins. I'm trying to think of who it would even be. Rangers. Like, Toronto, maybe? Yeah. Toronto, the Rangers, oh, yeah, Toronto. right. No. Bruins, Toronto. Just shows you how much the NHL is lacking rivalries, yeah. by the way. Toronto's, regardless. Right. Huge rivalry. 2004 Red Sox Yankees for soccer wise. Right. Arsenal this weekend. Huge bar downtown Back Bay. Uh, Dylan's bar. It's right an Arsenal bar? It's an Arsenal bar, yes. Right across gotcha. the street from the Prudential, right next to the fire station in Back Bay. You go I've driven by there a bunch of times. Uh, you, you, would, you would never think of it. Right. Randomly found it. You go down it. So you've got an upstairs level. Like here, yeah. you go down about four or five steps, and you've got an Arsenal bar. <laughs> and like I said, this is like Red Sox, Yankees. So three months ago, so in the Premier League, backstory quick, they play each team twice. That's how it works in the Premier League. You play each team twice. <laughs> they played 7.30 in the morning, uh, Tottenham. In October. That's like if you're a Premier League fan or like a soccer have fan. Have you ever been to a Premier League game like over? I have not. I have not. So I, it's my like life and destiny. So look, to I'll say, to I'm, a I'm a soccer game. fan, right? Not as big of a soccer fan as you. But so I went um, before the pandemic hit, October of 2019. I went uh, to Liverpool against, um, oh, fuck. Le- it doesn't uh, matter. You got Leicester. Boston ties Liverpool, right Liverpool there. Liverpool against Leicester. Uh, and um, I was, I don't know how we scored it, but we were on the corner in the first and second row, and Liverpool won the game in the 90th minute on a penalty kick 50 feet from me. And it was awesome. the coolest thing I've ever Regardless, experienced. Long story short, this bar, it gets a shit ton of people. Yeah. At, like, literally, like almost 200 people. They had a game in October, and again, like I said, it's Red Sox Yankees. We showed up, me and I had six other buddies. We showed up at 7:15. The game was at 7:30. We could barely walk in at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah. It was so packed. Everyone shows out. It's uh, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United. Those are like the three teams that are really supported in Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, for soccer. Again, I'm going to show out Arsenal because I'm an Arsenal fan. My buddy's an Arsenal fan. Everyone at this bar is an Arsenal fan right now at Joko's. I love it. I love people that, like, passionately follow anything sports-wise. Yeah. I fucking love it. I, I mean, again, I'm passionate about, like, Boston sports, too. No, yeah, I love it. Even Don't so. even get me started on the Red Sox. I hate the whole baseball, 
Baseball is my second passion. The, pe- the peacocking about the Raphael Devers signing, like they just like saved the world, is fucking pathetic. I just hate the whole team. I, I, I can talk about any any Boston sport right now. I, Where are we gonna go? Where are you guys? What's your guys? So my, my, if I had obviously to pick like, soccer. If I had to pick like a, nowhere to be found with you guys. If I, I know had, that. If I had to pick a team, like I like my team out of all the four Boston teams, I'm a Bruins guy. That's my team. Like, Bruins. I love all right. It. What are we talking I'd say about over it's here? Like, Patriots one A, Celtics one B. Really? I'm like they're right there, neck and neck. For no me. shit. I'm not gonna lie, like Bruins and Sox, like yes, I like them. Not die hard. Right. I, I'm die hard Patriots and Celtics though. All right, let's go. Two questions here. Okay. I'm gonna go one question here. Is Pasta gonna sign a 10 year, 8.25 million contract? No. And over here, who's gonna be our offensive coordinator next year? So he's right. gonna sign. He's gonna sign an eight year, 7.5, 7.8 AAV deal. I think. He, I think he goes team friendly. Who is this? Like, pa- pasta? pasta. Pasta. Yeah, pasta, yeah. he definitely will. So don't forget, Marshawn and Bergeron make like six million. Right. So I think the second thing is, um, yeah, that's that's my take on that. I, I think, think Pasta's a Bruin for life. I think so too. I think Pasta goes nowhere else. I think he's a Bruin for life. But I wouldn't I pay him so. more than eight point five million a year. See, wouldn't do I, it. I think, I I think you pay Pasta whatever he wants. In my opinion, I don't I, I don't yet. Yeah, he's a great player, but he's not like Connor McDavid good. Like he's just not. You know what I'm saying? He's not. Like, he just isn't. He's see not this, that guy. He's not Sidney Crosby this, good. This might be a hot take. I think Bo- uh, Pasta is the best player Boston has ever had since David Ortiz. That's a, that's a fl- scalding hot take. That it's is very a hot. fuego take. It's very I, hot, but I... Uh, I would take Patrice Bergeron over David Pasta like 10 days out of 10. You? Yes. I would, too. Bergie is my, my, like, 1B in Boston yeah, sports but we never after gave, We never gave Bergie that type of contract. Right. Yeah, cause he t- but he took the team. He could have went anywhere he wanted and got eight point five million. He chose to take the hometown discount. He gets like six point one million a year. He could get nine million a year anywhere else. Oh, I know. He's uh, the best. Uh, he's he's arguably the best two way player of a generation. He's better than Jonathan Taves, who was his only competition. Oh yeah, obviously. Or Pavelski, oh, definitely. Yeah, obviously. I, I just I think you don't they, have to argue with me. No, on, I know uh, they, they player strength they got, right there. They got. I think they got knock on wood. I think they got something special going on this year. I no, think I they think might. They, I, I think they might have something I, going on. I've got a future bet in, so they better have hey, something so special. Better, hey, you know, <laughs> can they get took the odds? You like the fucking plus one hundred? All right, let's move to the Patriots. All right, last question. Gerard Mayo. Uh, just so Gerard, Gerard Mayo needs to be the defensive coordinator. Yep, hundred percent. I mean, look, Steve Belichick hasn't been awful, but if we're talking about who has more potential in. Uh, Deserves to be, you know, elevated in the program. It's Gerard Mayo by far. If we're talking who the next OC is going to be, everyone wants Bill O'Brien. I don't think it's going to be Bill O'Brien. I, I, like, don't like Bill O'Brien. I think he's a fucking oh, dickhead. Here, you know he's a Dorchester guy? Yeah, he played at St. John's. Dude, he coached at St. John's Prep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, yeah. Let or he me, played there, too. Let I'm me throw sure. out two quick little takes real quick. Okay. Which I love. I hope it happens. Cliff Kingsbury is our offensive coordinator. Eh, yeah. We trade for DeAndre Hopkins as our number one. Maybe. I don't, think Bill of, ta- I don't think Bill will take Cliff Kingsbury The here. only shitty part about that is we get rid of Jacoby Myers. So we've got D-Hop, uh, Devontae Parker, Tyquan Thornton, who I'm I'm way too high on as a Boston, Boston sports fan. I Realistically, I don't think he's going to be that great, but Tyquan Thornton could be great. And TBD. I think in the draft, we get that kid from Ohio State, uh, Jackson. Uh, uh, and, yeah, and I don't know his last name. He's got the African name. last name. And yes. Jigba Smith. Yes. Something yes, like yes, that. Yes, yeah. Talk about a wide receiver? Yeah, wide receiver. I trust any Ohio State wide receiver. But I'm, mad Marvin Harrison. I'm mad Marvin Harrison Jr. is not in the draft this year because I would be like, I think, take him first overall. I think, I think next year is going to be a lot... Uh, crazier and greater than people think for the uh, New England Patriots. I think it has to be. I oh, look, no, it has to be. If, if, if Mac doesn't have an exceptional season next year, he's gone. Just knowing, I think he could but, be gone this offseason. If Tom no. decides he wants to come back here, they're going to open the red carpet no, for him, I, and I want, a, <laughs> I want him back. If we want to talk about, again, stupid things, I think realistically Tom can win the Super Bowl this year. Look, I'll, again. I'll, I'll, I'll he say, absolutely can. Look, there's <laughs> just like... <laughs> Two things I'll take to the bank right now. Number one, I think there's a 0% chance Tom Brady comes back. 
I don't no, think he comes back. I don't want him to come back. I don't. I, I don't want him to come back. I don't think I he's do. going to come back. Again, we're we're all at that. Would I, would I take him? Yes. I, do I think he comes back? If he's no. not going back to Tampa, he's going to San Francisco. Then, yeah. oh, no, I think he goes to the Raiders. Or or, maybe Oakland. Maybe Oakland. Raiders. Raiders. I'll tell you real quick. I'll give I'll give you wild card team. Right, and nobody's hang on, hang on, hang on. How old are you? Thirty one. Thirty one. How old are you? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Right. I'm twenty five. I think generously. We're all in the Tom Brady area. Tom Brady era. We all know what Tom Brady did for New England. He's, again, I say this, he can't do it, but Brady, knowing Brady, he can do it. I take him, but don't get me wrong. I just I, I would rather grow and develop Mac. Mac has been fine. I look, I take I take Brady back in a heartbeat. But I don't think he comes. I think you give Mac another year with I mean, an offensive coordinator. Back. The no. only way Brady comes back is with Gronk, Edelman, no, Chris Hogan, that whole that, no. that whole situation uh, that he had. He's not coming back. I don't think he comes back. But look, real, two quick hot takes. I think with the first round pick, the Patriots are going to skip on even as good as, good as and Jigba Smith is. The Patriots will take an offensive lineman. That's just yeah, how they it's are. It's the Patriots. It's the Patriots way. That wouldn't surprise me at all. And then I will say, Cole Strange is a dog. Cole Strange is a dog. I like he Cole Strange. He was a dog. Did he uh, turn a total 180? Because he was getting shit on at the beginning no, of the year. No, yeah, he, he did. He turned he's a, a dog. Okay. He, turned I mean, a, he yeah. turned a total 180 He on looks the like draft. he's got potential. Uh, he was like a fucking great first round pick. Yeah. Like Isaiah, Wynn, Isaiah Wynn sucks. Oh, Bro, yeah. he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, Isaiah he's Wynn. a bust. Uh, so last, last thing I'll say, nobody's talking about this, and I don't understand why. Everyone's talking about where Tom Brady's going to land. Um, we're here in Oakland. We're here in San Fran. We're hearing a lot of people try to start headlines saying, oh, possibly New England. I'll tell you one place that Brady should think about going that just came out the other day and said we're willing to spend a ton of money on a quarterback. The New York Jets. The New York Jets yeah. are a quarterback away from being a Super Bowl contender. Yeah, they, they have are. weapons. They have a defense. They have a great off, uh, great head coach. And of how, what better for him to come and finish his career sticking uh, it to New England twice a year? I don't want to go on hot takes. I'm so torn on the Jets. I respect the Jets. I like the I Jets. I respect the Jets. If I, the Jets had Tom Brady, they'd be my Super Bowl favorites for next year. 100%. See, if the Jets had Tom Brady, they'd be the one seed in the yeah. East. Yeah. And See, by the way, I'm sorry. I I think it's going to I think Buff it's Buffalo's year. It is. I think it is it Buffalo's is. year. I'm going to say it right now though. Listen, don't Cincinnati's getting hot at the right time again. The same time of year, the same thing is happening again. I think, I think yeah. since he's winning, winning it this year. What do you say? I said I think Cincinnati is winning it this year. I hope they do. I'd like to. I'd, I think I want to see me. my boy Joey B get a Super Bowl. I'm sorry. Bowl, the man. AFC between the Bills, the Chiefs, and the fucking. Uh, the, a, the AFC is like. Loaded. I think Philly ends up coming out of the NFC, though. I think yeah, so, too. Be, I think so, too. You, go, you put Philly in the NFC. There you go. I right. think. It, look, okay. In my opinion, the 49ers are the most overrated team in the history of the NFL. I disagree. I disagree. Look. The 49ers are also a quarterback away from winning a Super Bowl. But uh, Brock Purdy's been good. I think, I think Debo. Uh, dude, the dude, way by I the way, it, don't, by the way, don't sleep on fucking San Fran. Dude, Brock Purdy's like look, pretty good. I, I think. Yeah, so. no, I said that Brock Purdy's good. But the way I see it, Debo's gonna get hurt in the wild card game. Debo's something's gonna happen to he's Debo. He's made a glass, Debo. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's he gonna is. be done in the first quarter. Brandon Ayuk, like he's good. Ayuk is na Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk is nasty. I love Brandon Ayuk. <laughs> I used to, and I, I don't even get started nasty. on George Kittle. He is the most injury up and down prone yeah. person ever. Yeah, I just think that team. No, listen, listen. When that team is at the top, they are great. San Fran is great, but I just think that team is way too. Now imagine, go back to the draft two years ago. Imagine if they skipped on Trey Lance and took Micah Parsons instead. I know. Well, look, Holy hey, shit. I'll, t I'll tell you one thing. I think I think San Fran's the most complete team right now in, yeah, the, in, in the NFC. But I will say, Philadelphia has one chance to lose, okay? If the team that goes into Philly in the divisional round cannot beat them and Philly gets a playoff win under their belt, they're winning the fucking NFC and they're winning the Super Bowl. I think Dallas can beat them, though. I think Dallas is fucking nasty. There's, there's a bunch of teams that can beat them. I'm saying they're one yeah. shot to lose. 
is that first game of the divisional yeah. round. If they win that divisional round game, they're winning the NFC Championship. I'm also rooting. I think the end of the the NFL playoffs this year are just like so electric. Yeah, I'm pumped. I think so. Like, like dude, uh, like the wow. Giants are a fun team to root for. Yeah, the fucking Jaguars are a what fun. What time's team. the first game tomorrow? I don't even know. Uh, I think it's one o'clock. Fuck is yeah, it? let's go. I'm I might stay at better after I'm the interview and just watch. You, you guys get the get... games at the fucking. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. I, I want. Like to I want to get this in, boys. Um, might be controversial. It, 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 it's not even you guys. It's over everyone. I think the 49ers are the most overrated playoff team. To really? ever exist in the NFL. I think that's really? the, the hottest take ever. They literally went into Green Bay in the snow and beat them last year to get to the NFC Championship game. Like, come on. But, like, you can't say, like, that's overrated. I get that, but you have to look at Green Bay as a whole this year. They stink. The Green Bay sucked asshole this year. They stink. Also, can I just say, I hope the Detroit Lions win the fucking Super Bowl next year if we don't. Oh, no, I would love to I see that. So hard on that bandwagon, it's not even funny. I'm out on the, uh, as a Boston sports fan, I'm out on the Patriots to at least, like, 2025, 20, 2026. 20, I agree. I'm still in I'm rude for anyone else. I fucking agree. As my... Hot take of the night? Hot take of the night? Giants are going to beat the, the Vikings. Oh, no, that's I think not a hot take. I don't think that's, that's a hot take. That's not hot at all. I don't think that's a hot take. The Vikings take. suck. I love, I love that's not a hot take. No, I, dude, I, I think they should be. What's the what's the line? I think they should be favorited. Are you a Are you a Are you a Are you a Oh, you're a New England guy. Yeah. Okay. All New England all the way. In fact, we didn't even say fucking New York I just like I just like Daniel Jones, dude. Yeah. It's like a crime. I like Daniel Jones. It's just all the hate that he gets. He's fake. And then he just comes out and kind of shows it. He's like, screw you guys. I think that I think. I think, I think the, I think the pretender team of the NFL the last six or seven years is the Minnesota Vikings. They're just oh, totally made of fluff. Absolutely, I'm we sorry. can all agree on I that. Love, I love Justin Jefferson more than anybody. That I'll team tell, is. Look, I'll that tell you this right is, now. That team is a cream. Everybody puffy. thinks the Vikings fa are fake. Everyone's calling for the Giants to go in and beat them. The Vikings, Vikings are gonna win. No, the Vikings, the Vikings are, are gonna, gonna win. win. Justin Jefferson versus Galladay. Who the fuck are you taking? I think Jay. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Yeah. If Justin that. Jefferson gets going early, it's over for it's I over agree. for the Giants. I, I think Jay Jetta gets like three touchdowns that game, but loses the game forty to twenty one. Maybe. Stupid! I know Kirk, Kirk Cousins Kirk, makes so many mistakes. Kirk Cousins just like, mistakes. Kirk Cousins. When does Kirk Cousins show up when he needs to show Kirk up? Cousins, Never. When oh, has hey, Kirk hey, Cousins hey, shown up? When, he has when is to. that game? Never. When's the Vikings it, Giants game? Sunday afternoon. Is it? Is it at it's one o'clock or is it four o'clock? Can I just say the fact that they flexed out a wild card game on Monday night is the most genius idea ever, by the way. Is that Vikings Sunday, Sunday at four p.m. Four, okay, four, the four p.m. Oh, oh, so uh, I genuinely well, do not think that, I don't think there's a bad. <laughs> I don't think there's a like forty percent towards the Vikings. I don't think there's a bad playoff game this weekend. There isn't. I can't wait to watch uh, every single game. The Bills are gonna literally throat fuck the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, two is out. The Bills. That's the worst game. Yeah, Bills are gonna. Third string, fucking third maybe. String. Yeah. Who's the fucking backup? Skylar Thompson. He's a rookie. Thompson. He's a rookie. By the way, can yeah, I just say something really quick? Yeah. Can I just say something really quick? Right can I just say something? By the way, Tua Tagovailoa needs to just retire, like on his own no, personal he does. health. Like, on his own personal, like, dude, you have two concussions in a his calendar brain year. Is mush. Your brain is fucking fried. He's had, like, three. Like, he's had, like, three. He had, like, dude, one he's had, like, three. Dude, he's had, three, like, rug. potentially three concussions in yeah. a year. Like, As dude, of, yeah. you so, have to chalk it. Like, you can't fuck around So, if shit. we want to turn this podcast into a betting podcast real quick, <laughs> the, uh... You're talking to the inventor hedge better right here. <laughs> we don't need any hedging on the fucking Bills game. Okay. The Bills are six and a half point favorites right now. Take the Dolphins and the points. I'm saying... Don't do it. That's the bet this weekend. Are you a Gambling man, or are you a fucking <laughs> no, gambling man? No, no, if you want to bet, no, 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 that's the fucking no. bet. No. If you want a realistic bet, you take the Giants over the Vikings. Bills win. The Bills are going to be. I am telling you, Miami. I am telling you, Miami covers that spread. The Bills are going to beat Miami by maybe thirty-seven and a half. <laughs> I think so too, dude. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Right. Hey, Mark's, Mark has some hot takes when it comes to football spreads. He usually is right. He's usually right. Guys, look so at the script. I'll, I'll, look at the script. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but look at the script for the look, Bills. I can't see a way that he's right, but he... No, no, I just... No, no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 hold on. I just said that Miami's going to cover the spread. Like They're not right. going to cover. I think they will. They are going to get blown I think the Bills, out I think of the, the goddamn I think the, Gulf I think Coast. The, I think the Bills win by like eight. Okay. Ten. 
All That's right. what I call it. I think right. Miami covers that. I think – so here's what happens. Unfortunately, there's this seven, is – There's six on. and a half, so right, this, either way, the Bills cover. What do you mean? Hold on. I thought he just said it was 13 and a half. 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Thir- wait, no, no, hang on, hang on. Let me. That's two so seconds on, on the podcast. Hold on. So I just want to say two seconds on the podcast, boys. Our hold on. Our closing thought on the pod is input. Our those closing thought on the pod is going to have to be. I hate to miss say this, and I hate to sound like an asshole, but is there such a thing as like tragedy momentum? Yes, a hundred percent. Okay, so that's why I think the Bills are going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, right, the, the Bills every are. Time, every the time, World it, Series every the, fucking the time moment. it happens. The, 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 the yeah. fucking, how do you call it, won the World Series, the Red Sox. Red Sox. The Saints won the Super Bowl with Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. This poor kid almost fucking died last week. Tragedy Bill, plays. Bills are 13 and a half. I think, I think they win by 27. I like Buffalo by 8 to 10. 8, 10, same thing, essentially. I mean, whatever the fuck. I love it. Now, that's a hot take. I just think they cover. I think Buffalo wins, but I think Miami covers. I think, I think right. as you said, as your point, I think Buffalo covers every game in the playoffs by double digits right now. All right, look. Hey, we got to wrap it up. One closing thought from everyone. All right, my closing thought, wrap it up to go back five minutes ago. The 49ers are the most overrated team in the NFL playoffs. The Seahawks are going to beat the 49ers. Everyone thinks the Niners are going to win. Geno Smith is going to go stupid. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, they're all going to be out there going stupid. Sheesh. The Seahawks are going to win. The 49ers are out. Everyone says the 49ers are going to go to the chip. There's no chance the 49ers even get past the first round. Fellas, let's hear your hot takes. Uh, Just because the lights are on doesn't mean we don't have time, boys. So (laughs) take your time. Bet Jacksonville. I love that. I like Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville. That's not even hot. I love that. Also, if there's any question of who the best quarterback in that draft class was, there isn't any more. Trevor Lawrence is fucking nasty. I love that, fella. Nasty. Uh, No 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 hot take right there. I need a hot one. Come on. Hot take. Hot take, baby. Come on. Oh, man. All right, look. I don't don't have too many hot takes this playoff round, Um, but I will say I think, um, I, I, I think, look, the... The the Cowboys are favorites heading oh my God. heading into Fuck Tampa that. Bay. Tampa Bay is gonna win. Okay? I agree. I think, I think Tampa Bay wins this. Tampa, hot. Tampa, Tampa, Tampa Bay handles business. But what I will say, I guess you could call it my hot take. I mentioned it earlier. If Philly wins in the divisional round, not this. Obviously next they got the bye week. Right. If Philly wins divisional round next week, they will be Super Bowl champs. Oh, I love that too. That's not hot at all. Yeah. So. There Can't wait go. to watch this all unfold. Guys, thank you for all coming right. on for this episode of the pod. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming back on. You're the man. Love you, buddy. Appreciate it, Appreciate brothers. you, brother. Glad you had a good thank time you. on this show. Yeah, I'm going to. Everybody take it easy.